second chef. Yes, sir, it was. Okay, you gotta remind me of your face. Skylar, thanks for gifting us up to take. All right, let me tell, okay, there's just, there's too much. There's, there's too much to, uh, to fucking, to talk about, man. There's too much, like, I'm, I'm like, oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy I'm a streamer, huh? I'm happy I'm a streamer. Thanks for the game. Tell us about TwitchCon. All right, let's start. Okay, start at the beginning. You want to start at the beginning? Should we do any fancy, fancy broadcast today at Roofied? I fucking hope not. If not, I have the, if I did, I have the strongest, the strongest Roofie, Roofie, um, resistance known to man. Uh, let's see what we got here. So there's like, obviously a lot. How do I do this? Mentions. Oh man, we're starting at the end. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. Why don't we go through this gotta? Why don't we go Ali Coco, hey! Sorry, I didn't say hi to you. Why don't we go through all all the shit we did, man? All the shit we did. I'll tell you about every single person. Whoever you want to know about, I'll tell you about. Even this guy. <laughs> Even that guy. <laughs> oh, man. You know, now you guys are making me sad. It's, it's, it's over a little bit, you know? Now you guys are making me sad. It's over. Just just a little. There's Tay. There's Kay Witty. There's Colt. Colt Train. Handsome man. Do you meet Cheese? Like, kind of. A little bit. Um... How do I go to my profile? Okay. So I tweeted a bunch of stuff and retweeted a bunch of stuff. So it should all be here. And I'll tell you about this stuff. All right. I'll tell you all about it. You should. Hey, you got. Hey, you guys who wanted to, to come. Should have came. Should have came. Don't touch that. Oh, I'm going to. Who is more excited to meet you? Distortion Lobos. Definitely Lobos. 100% Lobos. <laughs> I feel like, uh, uh, like Distortion, look, like, he's happy. Uh, but Lobos is very enthusiastic. Um, is Ben Rice doing his thing? I am happy I got something of Ben Rice. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So here I was. Okay. So the start of TwitchCon, as soon as I got, I flew, I flew. And as soon as I got to the airport, uh, I had to go to <laughs> the doctor <laughs> and it was like nuclear medicine. And I was like, that doesn't sound good. Um, but then I went to the doctor and all of that. And uh, I got out of the doctor after a couple hours and they're just like, we need more tests. So nothing big there. But the big deal there is... Oh, shit, that hurt. Oh. My ingrown toenails coming back. Um, but the shit that we got out there is that the, the doctor costs like $250 just to talk to. And that was... That was shitty. But we talked to him and he was like, Ah, oh, more tests. But he talked to me for a while. He was like... He was cracked out. Like he was fucking on cocaine. Um... Hi, everybody. Hey, thanks, everybody, who I saw coming to see me and being all excited and stuff like that. That's cool, man. That's cool. But, uh, yeah, I went to the doctor, and then right after that, I went back to the house, and everybody was gone. Like, everybody was at the beach or some shit. So I just, like, went into my assigned room, and, uh, and I think Mogan Kai came back. I didn't get a picture with Mogan Kai, because Mogan Kai was MIA the entire trip. Um, he was fucking MIA, but, uh, Mogan Kai came up to me and he came up to me with bearded Belgian and we started walking. Okay. We started walking. We wanted to get food cause I hadn't eaten all day. All right. Mokba 600 bits. Uh, I went to a taco place and it was like street tacos, but they were like hardcore. Like the, the workers were like these tall, like very handsome 
Spanish men. Very handsome Spanish men. And they had this, like, look to them. Like they could, you know. They weren't, like, tough, tough. But they were, like, adolescents who could fuck some shit up, you know. Who could fuck some shit up. So we sat down. We ate tacos. Um, <laughs> we ate the tacos. Well, I ate the tacos. They just watched me eat. Mogan's like, I want to go. I want to go. And I was like, no, Mogan, you stay here. And I had Mogan tell me about what he's been doing the last uh, last year, you know, last year, because he was gone, MIA, and he told me about Sweden, he told me about this Discord server, and he told me about all his adventures and this girl he met and stuff, and that was all great and wonderful, and I met Beard Belgian, and he was good too, okay? Um... So then after that, we went back and Mogan's like, oh, I want to hang out with my other friends because he had he had brought his other friends there, his non-Twitch friends. And so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go say hi. <laughs> and so I go into the room and they're like all just sitting there watching a Disney movie. And I was like, hey, <laughs> that they like turn to me and they're like, hey. and they just turn back. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> And then Mogan's like, yeah. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go back to my room. <laughs> yeah, so I'd like, I, you know, I, oh, and then the one guy, one guy was kind of nice. So I like walked up to him and he was doing like a, like a, look at this. <laughs> He's doing like this or like that or whatever. He's doing like this. And I was like, would you like to shake my hand? And he's like, yeah. I was like, okay, I'll shake your hand. And then he just turned back. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, man? So, it's just like, I'm, all right, I'm going to go back to my room. Like, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't slept. So, I went back to my room. It's kind of cold because I didn't know how to work the AC and shit. Um, this is Rise. Yeah, this was the morning after. Um, and then I actually fell asleep on the couch. Right, so I fell asleep, and I woke up to some knocking, like, doosh, doosh, like loud, loud knocking, and then I got like, I got a little bit nervous because I was like, oh, it's knocking. Oh, I'm gonna see people because I get nervous to see people. Uh, I get really nervous to see people um, because it's just like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to let them down, you know. I don't, I don't want to like, hey, I know you came to see me, but I'm just a brown boy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> kind of deal. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. And I knew that they were, they're coming to see me. Genie, thanks for gifting sub to Brodo. Hey, Brodo, congrats. Um, you look browner on Twitch. Yeah. So I was, I was, I was fucking like nervous and, uh, and let's see who came up. So what is this? Oh, that's Otz's veins. So they all got pictures with me, but I don't think they've tweeted them yet. I think they all got pictures with me, uh, but I I haven't I don't I don't know how Twitter works very well. So you know if if there's pictures that they have that you've seen on their Twitters, just link it to me and I'll pull it up. Okay, you can link it in the chat. But um oh my God, UBC didn't. Okay, um so then they all come in and it's like Otz is first, like Otz is first in line, and he was super excited to see me and i was overwhelmed so like <laughs> i like gave him a hug and he's like for us you know how Oz talks right and he's like he's about my height so he's not too too tall but he's stylish like Oz has this let's see if i have anything with Oz other than his vein his veiny hand let's see Oz, 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 Oz. Probably just a, here we go. So we got one of Otz with Lobos. So Otz is stout. Like you see, he's wearing this jacket. He's very groomed with his beard. He's got a strong jawline, and he talks just like he he did in uh, he doesn't stream. Like he he talks in a in a certain way. And he he came and he I can't look at him looking at me. I'm getting shy with him just looking at the camera. <laughs> But he talks in a way, and he's just like, hey, I'm, so, I'm so happy to see you, and it's like so nice to hear, I'm so glad. And I was supposed to room with Otz, and that didn't end up happening. I ended up not. But there was Otz, uh, Ophelia, Rise, who you just saw. So Rise is Ophelia's boyfriend. Where is he? 
Uh, he's very British. He's incredibly British. It's ridiculous. Maple, that's what he says. Like he, the, he speaks so slow, like other British people do, and it's it's just is is funny. So he has tattoos and stuff, and he was nice. No, he's fucking British as shit. Like he is like nine thousand out of ten British. Like just <laughs> incredibly British. At one point, <laughs> we were in an Uber. We were in we were in an Uber, okay, and the driver the driver was British. And Rise was British in the back. And they realized that they were both British. And then the rest of us stopped talking. And they had a little British chat about London and the weather and all. And they started using British terms and talking very slow and articulate. They, they articulate their words quite well. You know, and they say, well, you're, you're taking the piss, man. And it's just shit like that. And it's just like I was sitting there <laughs> being like, because I can't contain things when I think it's funny. And it's not like I want to hide it. Hi, tea. You have your tea today. Yeah. Did you make, you like it over there? It's like housing prices. They're wild. And it rises like, yeah. <laughs> They're just making small tech back, back, back and forth. And it was hilarious. It was so funny. I don't know if the other people found it funny, but I found it so funny. Um that was on our way to breakfast yeah it was ridiculous uh but very british very british very polite very nice uh rise rise is a good guy and then uh fuck who else was there like it's it's a blur because that was a few days ago um <clears throat> uh ophelia rise Ots. ubc i believe was there UBC, I believe, was there. I want to talk about UBC last. No, I want to talk. Wow. Okay. UBC, K. Witty, and uh, Slate, I believe. Oh, and Rebs, Rebobs. I believe those are the people that were like, that showed up to see me. Um, And that was, yeah, that was, that was good. Um, So Ophelia, or sorry, not Ophelia. Uh, Unicorn Bunny Coffee. One sec. So Unicorn Bunny Coffee actually got me a bunch of stuff. And I was like, you don't have to do that. But she got me like a lot of stuff. Like, because there's people who, who brought gifts. I didn't bring any gifts because I'm, I'm terrible. I don't know what to buy. Uh, and, you know, no one wants fucking Canadian chocolate. But she bought me this fancy. I, I'm pretty sure this was from UBC. Um, this, like this nice chocolate some really really nice chocolate um and i wanted to try it on yeah <laughs> yeah yeah she got me that and uh this broke in my suitcase this stick but this is still intact this lollipop which she said she would get me it says app fell on the back so i'm gonna eat that i haven't had a lollipop since i was like very young so there's that and she got me okay so she had like this this box open and you could you could pick from shit, um, and she's like, "Oh, what what do you want to pick?" And I was like, "Oh, I want this because it represents my dead emo that everybody complains about." And that was nice. So she made this, I believe, right? UBC, you made this, right? You fucking made this, yeah. And uh, yeah, that was really nice. So she, <laughs> so so I got I got this thing. Yeah, I gotta keep it. I'm gonna keep this. I like this. This reminds me of UBC. And so UBC, I didn't get a picture with her. Fuck. Um, there's a bunch of people I didn't get a picture with. Um, UBC was just, she was so happy to fucking be there. She's so happy. Like, it was a mix between happy and stress because, you know, lots of people and shit. And I can understand the stress. But a mix between happy and stressed. And whenever whenever you, you ask or something... You ask her anything, it was like uh, she'd respond like, "Okay," so I'd be like, "Hey, UBC, you uh, you want to go over here?" And then she'd like look at you and smile, and she'd be like, "Yeah." <laughs> it's like, "Hey, UBC, you like uh, you like food?" She'd be like, "Yeah," <laughs> and that made me laugh so much. I I don't think uh, 
I don't think any. I don't. I don't know how many other people noticed it, but yeah, that was like, yeah, yeah. She'd say it in that way, and I was like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and uh, so then there was Ophelia as well. I got pictures of Ophelia at the end. Uh, let's scroll up here. But Ophelia, like, <clears throat> last TwitchCon, Ophelia was, like, uh, she went out of her way to make sure I had a good time, right? Like, went way out of her way to make sure I had a good time. Hey, Crow. Uh, hold on. Oh, I met, I met Crow somewhere. Hold on. Crowley. Make the dreams come true. <laughs> I met Crow. Do it. <laughs> I'm so mad that Crow didn't bring me to that picture. I know, Viking. Hey, thanks for the 22 months. <laughs> so that's Crow. She was great. I didn't actually talk to her. She just kind of... <laughs> she just kind of like hid behind me and and photobombed and stuff. But God, Crow was Crow was nice to meet. Yeah, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, Ophelia, like last TwitchCon was like the TwitchCon I didn't want to go to, and so last TwitchCon we uh, she went out of her way to like tell everybody to like let's make sure for us it's a good time because he didn't want to come and stuff and he's nervous and stuff and they did. They like went out of the way to like make sure I had a good time, and that was fucking great and wonderful. So I I really like Ophelia, uh, I really like Ophelia. So this time when I saw her, I was like, God, I'm happy to see Ophelia. You know, God, I'm happy to see Ophelia. Um, and Ophelia is like, she's like a she works hard, works. Hey, distortion man, you get back already? How are you doing? Um, yeah, I met this. I met this. This was cool too. I'm trying to go through this in 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 like order so that it can be like okay, <laughs> you guys are fucking overwhelming me, so that it can be okay. We'll get to get to things as they go. Um, but yeah, she was always great. She works hard, so like Ophelia goes to bed at like ten, right? Ten or midnight or something, and she wakes up. And she goes to the con and she starts doing stuff. Like she had a panel. Uh, Ophelia had a panel. I'll talk about that in, in a bit. Um, oh, and she got me shit. She got me like this little patch. Right? This little nice little patch. She's fucking... She's on top of her stuff. Um, and yeah, that was, that was really cool. But we'll get to that. But man, I was happy to see Ophelia. And she was staying. So the way we were staying is we were in a complex. Okay, we were in a we had a Airbnb, and there were four units we had. I was here. Uh, well, yeah, I was here with K. Witty and Slate. Um, Rebs and Ophelia and Rise were here. Otz and Colpster were up here, and then Mogan and a bunch of people were over here. Uh, and that was that was our that was the place where we hung out. Um, yeah, so Ophelia was great. I was really, really happy to see her again and meet her again. We spent some time together later in the trip. Like, li almost at the end of the trip, we sat down and we talked for a good while about, like, you know, frustrations and this and, and, and that and so on and so forth. And, you know, we get to that later, too. Um, but then there was, uh, okay, so there's Rababa, there's K. Witty, and there's Slate. Who do you want to hear about first? You want to hear about Rababa, K. Witty, or Slate? Uh, cause, <laughs> cause, yeah, they were, they were good. In May, Rebaba. Oh, fuck me. Uh, so, okay. So, Rebobs, like, I've met Rebobs before. And so, okay, Rebobs came in, and she was, like, super fucking hot. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, she was... Like, she just came from the beach, so she was, like, wearing, like, stuff. And I was like, geez, what is going on? Um, but she came up and she gave me a hug, and that was nice, and talked a little bit. And you know how she is. Like, she's very, like, 
jokey and punny and sporadic. She's wearing, well, I, you, she's, you know, she was, she was looking good. She's looking very good, and it was nice to see her because I met her last last week too. But she was, uh, God, did I get any pictures with her? She was like one of my like all these people that I was staying with were like my favorite people, and she was like one of my favorite people on the trip. Like she was one of the people that I was like, wow, that's fucking cool. I'll tell you a little bit more about that too. Um, and then there was. Uh, there was K. Witty and Slate. Let's see if I can get a picture with them. Fucking K. Witty and Slate. Oh my God, K. Witty and Slate. Where is he? Where is he? This was a, a long four days, man. Where the hell did K. Witty and Slate go? There we go. Look at this. Look at this, man. This is one of my these these are these this is one of my favorite pictures, right? Look look at fucking K Witty with his, his little shit smirk, man. And look at Slate. Slate won't put his arms around me. Oh man, they were fucking cool. They were great. Like I was already close to K Witty, so uh we roomed together. Myself, K Witty, and Slate. K Witty and Slate took the bed, so they stayed together, and I was on like the pull-out couch area. Yeah, like a man slate, yeah. Um, and so we roomed together, right? Um, and me and K Witty were already like pretty close because of last TwitchCon. And I didn't know Slate. You know, Slate's K Witty's roommate. They're both from Indiana. Um, they know each other. They've known each other since high school. So that's really cool. They've known each other since high school. Um, and so. After everyone gathers, they're like, okay, we need to prepare for tonight because it's the Discord party, so we're going to go and prepare. So I was like, hey, K. Witty, Slate, how are we doing this? Am I staying with Oz? Am I staying with you? And they're like, you stay with us. And they're like, all right. And they're like, you take the couch, we'll take the bed. I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, and, you know, so like they, they sit and stuff, and Slate's all over the place. I'm like, hey, nice to meet you, Slate. Um, little did I know that Slate would be like one of the people that I was like, oh man, like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want Slate to leave. Uh, you know, I, I would like Slate to like stick around in, in my sphere of influence for, for the rest of whatever. Slate's great. Oh man, he's funny. But me and Kay Witty, we sat down, right? We sit down and it was like, uh, right off the bat, we're talking and, you know, I had some questions for him, right? So... And these are questions I can't repeat because this is this is where we're like, all right, this this stuff stays within the apartment. What we're going to talk about now stays within the apartment. So I had a question. I was like, Kay Witty, you tell me this. And, you know, with Kay Witty, it's like you never know if he's going to tell you or not. You never know what's going through his head because he's smart, man. He's smart. So it's like, will he tell you? Will he not? And so he just told me. He's just like, yeah, this is what happened and this is how I felt. And uh, this is what I was going through. And he gave a very in-depth honest answer right hey bearded belgian man i talked about you um a very in-depth honest answer and i was like oh shit you know like i've gone i've gone through some of the same shit man i've gone through some of the same shit and uh i'm actually nervous for this twitch con i'm nervous for this twitch con and i'm a little bit worried because of this situation that of course i can't tell you guys about and I was like, but I can't tell you either, K. Woody. And he's like, why not, man? What, what's going on? I was like, I can't tell you because, you know, there's another person involved. And, and, and you know, I, like, I got to respect them as well. And he's like, what's wrong, man? You don't trust me? And I was like, no, I fucking, like, he said that. He's like, you don't trust me? I was like, no, fuck that, man. I was like, all right, fine. I trust you. I talked to K. Woody. I told him all about it, man. And he's like, all right. That's cool, man. And he's like, talk me through it. You ain't real? Yeah, he talked me through it. I will be playing Code Vein once it's downloaded. He talked me through it, and uh, I need better storytelling music. Sure, we'll do this. 
This is Kurt's sick nerd baller. Um, and he talked me through it. Um, and stuff. And in that in that moment there, me and him bonded. Like me and him were close. And Slate was there too. So I was like, hey, K Witty, I trust you. I trust Slate too. You trust Slate? I trust Slate too. We all bonded. But that was a solid, solid bond. You know, just right right there. Hey, do you trust me? I was like, all right. All right, fine, let's do this. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's going on. And so every day, every day when we got back or we had downtime or anything, we would fucking talk. Right? We would talk and we would just like it was a bond. Like it was it was fucking cool. You know, that was one of the the really good parts of this, the trip, rooming with uh K Witty and Slate, because it only it only got more fun. You know, it only got more fun and any problems we were having or anything that was going on, it'd be like, Hey man, you alright? Or hey man, what's going on? And it'd be like, All right, let's let's wait till we go back, we can talk about it, right? And we go and talk about it and stuff. And that was just oh, that was that was one of the nicest parts of the trip for me because it was like, like, look at K. Woody, look at him with his arm around me, and look at Slate, they're just happy, right? And Cal Cronin too, man. If Cal Cronin could have room with us, oh boy, you have no idea. But it was, it was like, you see the stories and stuff. Whereas, like, okay, well, I had a bunch of friends when I was younger, and we did this, and we did that, and we did this, and it was just, it was just cool. Like, you know, it was just fun to be around them. And I think they, they, they felt the same way, right? Hey, thanks, Peter Belgian. Yeah, it was great. It was just, it was good. And it's like they all have their, you know, K. Woody has his own personality and stuff, and Slate does too. And it's like you could hear K. Woody's thoughts behind the scenes and stuff, and that was fun. And then K. Woody and then Slate, and there's like little rivalries that would be amongst us. We'd be like picking at each other and stuff and oh that was a nice part of the trip hanging out together that was a nice part of the trip just you know going through shit like that that was great um yeah so that was like the first little day okay that was like the first little day uh and then we 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 went to the discord party right we went to the discord party i didn't get any pictures there but wait did we make your dreams come true do it did we go to the discord party i uh, yeah i'll tell you crow i'll tell you uh no we didn't no we didn't do go to the discord party because it was wednesday what did we do wednesday night uh, fuck. What did we do Wednesday night? I don't know if we even did anything Wednesday night. I think we just hung out. Maybe played Smash in Otz's room or something. No, that was that was Thursday night. Thanks, Smoke Miss. Discord party was on Friday? No, because I got there Thursday. There's no way it was Friday. I think it was Thursday night. Um... What did we do? It was Friday. What the fuck? What? Uh, okay, my memories are getting blurry. So that means, yeah, I got there Wednesday. Then what did we do Wednesday night? I don't know. I don't even know what we did Wednesday night. Oh, we played Smash on Thursday. Skylord came over. Right, okay. I have no idea what we did on Wednesday night. Like, I, I don't remember. Um, but I remember going to sleep and waking up. And uh, and the weather's so nice in San Diego. And waking up wasn't a problem, man. Not at all. And Kay, Woody, and Slate were in the other room and stuff. And we'd all wake up and we'd shower and stuff. <laughs> Kay, Woody, would take his like <laughs> uh, We'd shower and stuff. And I was like, hey, like... I need new clothes because I don't really have any for anything, right? Um, and so we showered and we went for breakfast. We went for breakfast. What happened? What was what? We showered. 
Yeah, well, Slate was fucking picking at me. Slate was picking at me, like, being like, Hey, man, if you want, I can wash your back. You know, we could get the shower together and, and we could take some time, you know, save some time. And I was just like, no, man, I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're not showering with me. And uh, he's like, he kept doing it until I was like, you think I won't call your bluff, Slate? You think I won't fucking call your bluff? Come on, come on. Wash my fucking back, man. Get in here. Like, let's shower together. And he was like, no, no, no. You misunderstood me. I was saying if... Uh, if we took if we took showers quickly, then we could save time. I was like, "You're a fucking bitch, get out of here!" And uh, uh, K. Witty and Slate, like they have this way of talking. Hey, so how I'm talking right now um, is a little bit different, but uh, you know the hey, if you real, you know if you real, you you call me cupcake, or like they they shoot man, or uh, K. Witty, oh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. <laughs> and Slate's kind of like that too. Right? Kind of like that too. So they, they, uh, their mannerisms started rubbing off on me a bit. Cause, and it was fun. Yeah, you do what you gotta do, man. You know, I'm just being real. I'm just doing what I, I'm just doing what I know. You know, and I'd be like, hey, man, what's going on? Like, you know, a little bit, like a little bit would rub, rub off on me, but cause they both talk like that. So I was talking with them the whole time. Uh, I am not Petey. Uh, so that was fun. So then, yeah, that, that night, the next morning we went to breakfast. Okay, we went to breakfast. And this is where our, the first picture starts. Uh, oh, there's the picture of Distortion. I don't know if he's still here, but I got a picture with Dis. That was cool, man. Yeah. Where is he? All right. And so we're sitting here, and it's like Ophelia Rise. Um, next to me is K. Witty. And on the other side of him is, is uh, I can't remember... But then Rebs is here, someone is here, and someone is here. I don't remember who's here or who's here, but there's people. Okay, we're all together eating breakfast at this fancy fucking place. This fancy fucking place. And uh, uh, we ordered in line and stuff, and they had gluten fucking free waffles. And oh my God, I got some and they were ridiculously good. Uni Unicorn Bunny Coffee. Yeah, and Smile and Dominator was there too. Man. Trey, did we get a picture? Um, I don't know if we did. And we we're sitting there, and so they brought Rebaba the wrong food. Hi, Shio. They brought Rebaba the wrong food. And that was like, fuck. And Rebaba started getting all tense and stuff. And the waiter wouldn't let it go. He, she's like, oh, I didn't order this. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, that's why, that's why I confirmed. Like, yeah, you ordered this. And he had this laugh, like, ha. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was it was like he was a nice guy i could see why he's just but he wouldn't fucking back down from from rababa so she was getting stressed and stuff and and so on yeah and uh and then we eventually just got her her food like her actual food um and then came when he stood beside me <laughs> and he's he's making fun of his laugh he's like <laughs> right and one time he did that, and the waiter was right behind him. And I turned to Kate Witty. I was like, he's right behind you, man. <laughs> he's like, fuck. Right? So he's like, we're never going back there again. And then we didn't. We never came back to this restaurant again, even though it was, like, really good. Like, it was really good. There's also some guy who was, like, who was in line with us. So we were all standing in line. And some guy's like, oh, okay, Witty, I know your stream from the billboard you have in New York, you know? And uh, K. Witty's like, yeah, man, if you real, that's true. Uh, and they talked a bit. And so that guy, for some reason, then thought that he would be included in our party and sit with us. And that's just a bad situation because we didn't know that. And that felt really bad because he was sitting like behind us, but kind of with us, right? And like completely discluded because we didn't we didn't know him right so and it's not like he introduced himself to us or anything like that or was invited to join us he just sat there and at the end they're like hey what was that guy with you he said he was with you and we're like no <laughs> and they're like oh <laughs> okay well and then he came up and he's like here's my here's my cut <laughs> here's here's my bill and I was like okay so we paid and we left and uh I can't remember if it was then that we're like, okay, we need to get new clothes. No, was it then? No, it wasn't then. It, then after that, we went and we got our our 
partner badges, our TwitchCon partner badges, and our Discord party uh, badge or uh, wrist wristlets, right? So we just walked over there, stood in line and stuff. Or was that? Did we go shopping first? I don't know. We did something, um, and that was fine. Uh, I think Neko recognized Rebobs or something like that and stuff, and it was fairly uneventful, but it was nice getting to hang out with each other and know each other and stuff like that. And my next memory. I don't, I don't have any memories after that. I, I have no memories after that uh, other than m messaging and being like, hey, this is what's going on. Or like, hey, I'm here. Or like trying to tweet because I'm fucking terrible at tweeting. Uh, my next memory after that was... Was going for food with everybody again in the morning. Oh, did I get clothes first? Yeah, my next memory is going to the mall. Okay. Um... So I like told, I like told him, I was like, Hey, I need new clothes. I don't, I need flip flops at the very least. Like I have nothing. Uh, I have fucking nothing. I need clothes because if we're going to go do stuff, all my clothes are like 10 years old. Like, you know, I have, I have nothing that, that doesn't have holes in it and stuff. Uh, and then two people got really excited. K Witty got really excited and Rebobs got really excited and they were like, Oh, like, hey, we're going to take you. Kiwi's like, I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to trick you out. And I was like, oh, man. They got really excited. And so they, like, went out of their way to be like, let's go get Faraz clothes. Right? Um, And so we brought Ots. I believe Trey, you came. Uh, Ots and Trey with us. Uh, smile and dominate to go get clothes and they went and we went to an H&M and they literally all scattered in the store and brought me clothes that they thought would look good on me and I was that was like that in itself is the, the sweetest nicest thing that's so nice and then Rebob took me back like her like she was my mom and said okay try these on and I was like okay and then so we tried a bunch of clothes on and they'd be like, yeah, it looks all right. Like, nah, I don't like this. Okay, would be like, it's not you, man. Uh, and uh, tried clothes on and stuff and just a bunch of different clothes. Tried jeans, shirts. Okay, would he found some shoes and then Slate's like, Slate's the most polite man in the world, right? Some shoes weren't working for me because they're too big. And Slate's like, hey, give me those. I'll go get a, a, a better size for you, right? And he did. He just went and got shoes. Right? And I was like, wow, you know, these people are really nice. Like, this, this is good. And Otz, Otz was like, hey, you know, like Otz was talking to me. He's like, oh, like, you know, he's like, you're, you're a good looking guy. And I was like, thanks, Otz. He's like, how you're built? This shirt will look really good on you. And I was like, yeah, Otz. He's like, yeah, you got like muscle here and this here and stuff. And, and, uh, um, and I was like, oh, Otz, that's sweet. And he's like, he's giving me like trivia he's like you know i i know clothes i know how to be fashionable about stuff and the thing about odds it's like i'll tell you about that later but that was really nice you know and so they they went and they got me clothes and i was i know crow and the, i was just overwhelmed because i was like wow these people really care you know these people aren't all over like okay what about what can i do for myself or you know they're like no we like you we care about you we're gonna take you shopping we're gonna get you tricked out you know you know, we're gonna we're gonna trick we're gonna make sure you look good and you feel good, you know? Yeah, Coltrane. Yeah, Rebs picked that out. And they the and I trusted them. So they're like, Do you like this? I was like, No, but I'll trust you, so I'll wear it. And they're like, Okay. And they're happy. So they got me shoes, jeans, um, a shirt, a bunch of shirts, uh, and stuff like that. And that was cool. Um then I had this H&M bag that I lugged around for the entire fucking trip. And then where we went from there is we got an Uber back. It was far away. Like, we Ubered pretty far. We Ubered back. And I think we went to the merch store. All right? The merch store. I'll show you the merch I got, actually. Uh, I think we went to the merch store. And we stood in line because it was partners only for the beginning of it. Yeah, partners only for the merch store. Uh, we stood in line and... Uh, is that where I met Apollo? No, we didn't. <gasps> no, 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 no. We went and we got our badges first. Yeah, our TwitchCon badges. And 
we met a bunch of people on the stairs. This is where we met like an entire massive group of people. Uh, I met Carson Druitt. I met uh, Lady May. Uh, I met Apollo. I met Ali Coco. I met Mike Jones. I met uh, like everybody that was there for the the duration of the trip or that we hung out with a lot. I met. Yeah, I met fucking Cal Cronin, man. Oh, I met fucking Cal Cronin. Oh, Cal Cronin. Cal Cronin live experience. Baby. I'll tell you about Cal Cronin. I'll tell you about Cal Cronin. So I met all of them and yeah, pictures and ah, shit. And that stuff going down and stuff. Um, um, oh, Ots has veiny ass hands, by the way. Like these big, these big pumping veins. Like I needed a picture of them. That's my hand holding his. Um... Is this... I guess I didn't get any pictures. Um, yet. Let's see if we gotta go in one. Yeah, I didn't get any pictures yet. But we met there, and we all... Fuck, my memory is, is fuck, fucking off. But yeah, I, I met Cal Cronin there. And Cal Cronin is one of my favorite people. Right? One of my, one of my favorite people. So I even told him this. I was like, Cal Cronin, like, you're one of the guys. You're one of the guys who is like, I'm looking forward to see Cal Cronin. Because there's like, there's tons of people. And it's like, you form connections and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, whatever. Uh, it, there's still a connection. Like, it's like, this person was cool. This person is cool. It's like, true. But it's like, Cal Cronin, me and him, we got something special, man. He's got, he's got a good heart. And he's stylish. And he's funny. And he's like, he's on his phone. Like, hey, ma. You know, he's talking. Um, and yeah, it was nice to see him. But I didn't get to hang out with him right away. Yes, send me the picture. Uh, I didn't get to talk to him right away, right? Too much, but uh, but he was there, and I was happy for it. And he's like, he's got, you know, he's he's fucking muscled up. Like, look at him, he's muscled up. He's stylish. He's got his his yeah. He's he's gone shopping already. You can tell he's got his sunglasses on and stuff. Oh man, Cal Cronin. We had a well. That'll come later. Um, but yeah, that was that was cool meeting everybody there and Carson. Carson seemed almost like a bit distracted, but Carson's. Carson is cool. Let's see if I can get something with Carson. Um, I'm trying to do this chronologically, but it's it's fucking tough. You know, where is Carson? There. So Carson, he's got like these big cheeks. And he's got big cheeks. So he he can like and he was even telling me, he's like, yeah, he's got like chipmunk cheeks. He can fit like like a ton of food in his cheeks. Right? And it's really cute. So the whole trip, I didn't do this, but the whole trip, I just wanted to like squish them. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't fucking tell him, but yeah, I just wanted to squish him. Um, and you know, he's he's doing Carson stuff. Like Carson's just pretty happy just being around people, I think, um, hanging out and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is one of the shirts they bought me. Boy Jesus, this shit. This is stuff where I'm like, I don't know if I want to wear this, but yeah. Uh, where were we? So we were on the stairs. Yeah, we were on the stairs, and uh, we we're just talking. What did we do after that? Does anyone here that knows what we did? Can you guys tell me my story? <laughs> uh, Carson did, Ozzy. Oh, Lobos is. Uh, Lobos did. I didn't know that. Um. No, and then we went to the merch. Let me get the merch. I'll show you the merch. Okay? We got we got merch. This is like one of my favorite pictures, man. So here's my little, like, my badge. That's the one we were wearing. Kind of nice, right? Um, Evie Lynn gave me this. Look at this. See that shit? Yeah, she, I met Evie Lynn, too. She gave me this. 
Um, I got a partner jersey, which I probably will never wear. Ever. But I could wear it. So this was for free. They just gave gave us this. I don't really like it. It's like it's like something a seven year old would wear. Fuck that. Um, no, I'm kidding. I just don't like it. <laughs> uh, but what I did get is I got a shirt. I th I think this might be nice. I haven't opened it yet, but there's like the little glitch. It's Kay Whittier. Oh man, now we can't talk about him anymore. Oh man, what's up, man? Shit out of here. Thanks for the 28 months, man. Yeah, I was talking about you. You should go back and rewatch that. You go rewatch that, you'll smile. What's this? Oh, this is Dex chocolate. Oh, I found it. Yeah, Dex gave me chocolate too. Um. So this is this is like the one thing I got where I was excited. I I haven't tried this on or anything, so we're gonna try this on and see how it looks. You know, but we stood in line for the merch, and uh, it was me, K. Witty, Rababalaba, Apollo, Ophelia was ahead of us. Uh, I think UBC was. No, I don't. I don't know if UBC was there. Um. But that, yeah, that was it. I have a tough time remembering the entire capacity of people. Uh, Slate, <laughs> fuck you! Get out of here, man. That's Slate right there. Oh man, I got stories about Slate. I tell you all about Slate. Oh Slate, you want to know about Slate? Uh, hey everyone, I'm mobile, so individual greets. Yeah, you gotta wait for the emotes and stuff from K Witty. Oh boy, you guys gotta rewatch this. So this is kind of like I think this. Is, man, I think this is nice. It's nice to actually. Got something. So this is, this is, yeah, this is, I like this hoodie. This might be a little bit too big. Maybe I should have gotten a small. Uh, nah, it's all right. Well, it's like long, but it's okay. Yeah, I probably should have gotten a small, huh? I, yeah, I like this hoodie, Rise. Yeah, you'll grow into it, thank you. It's a slate, motherfucking slate. Something to me, huh? Hey, thanks for the sub, slate. Slate's a good guy. Slate's a good guy. Wash it a few times. You think it'll shrink? But yeah, yeah. So I'll wear this. I like this. It's big. I wish I could have tr tried it out. It's fucking like, you know. It's it's big, but. All right. So yeah, that was uh, that was that. So we were standing in line the merch and stuff and that's where I met Apollo I think and talked to her a bit because uh, she's cool I don't know I I didn't know Apollo very well like at all like I've seen her streams and stuff but yeah she was cool she's wearing a bunch of rings and she has this bright jacket and stuff very stylish you know and just smiles and smirks every now and then that was that was good too so we stood in line we got our merch and then we left and hey do you guys remember what we did slate and k witty what did we do after the fucking uh merch shit um after the merch shit did we go to, to dinner a little bit crab place oh fuck right the crab place so we're all standing in a group and uh Getting shit together in groups is so ridiculous. Trying to figure out where to eat, right? Because it's like, oh, can we eat here? Can we eat there? Yeah, I don't remember, K. Woody. Can we eat here? Can we eat there? Can we do this? Can we do that? And it's like, no, we can't. And this is, ah, Chef T's here. I got it. I'll get you. I'll get you the picture too. Uh, oh man, who's Chef T? Yeah, I'll I'll talk about him in a second. We gotta we gotta do this chronologically, so I'm not all over the place. Um. He's great, man. Um, so we gather like fucking 30, 20, 30 people up. And we're like, we're going to go eat, you know? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go eat at this crab shack. Um, and we, uh, we walk all the way there and we sit down. And it's the worst service I've ever had in my life. The crab shack took little, literally three hours. Three hours to deal with um and to get through to um 
And so it was really uneventful, honestly. The Crab Shack, their food wasn't even good, man. Their food was terrible. Do not go to Joe's Crab Shack. Joe's Crab Shack is, is shit. Literally three hours. It was like two and a half, three hours. Um, but two things happened, okay? Two things happened. And this is this is kind of like me and Slate were warming up to each other. Um, oh, and I met Tracy Cola. I didn't get a picture uh, with Tracy Cola, unfortunately. But Tracy's cool. So we met Deck. Deck came and sat down. And Deck's, you know, Deck's Deck. Uh, he got me chocolate, which is nice. You know, I think I guilted him into this because he didn't originally bring me chocolate. But I was like, Deck, what the fuck, man? And he's like, fine. <laughs> he gave me chocolate. Uh, but he, he like slid it through. Like, so Slate ordered this like giant like margarita thing um, that came with like a Corona that you put into it. And it was full. And so I don't know why he did this. But Slate just decided, even though it's full, I'm going to take this alcohol this this bottle of whatever and i'm going to put it in so that it overflows everywhere and then when he did that he was like genuinely surprised that it overflowed <laughs> and it spilled everywhere right so we got all this shit all over the table and it was like slate what are you doing man um and so we had to clean it up but dex slid like his the chocolate through the fucking the alcohol shit in the on the table, um, and uh, <laughs> and I was like drying it out, and he got offended that I was drying it out. But then he was like, "Okay." Um, so that was meeting Deck, and Deck was across the table, so I didn't get to talk to him too much, right? But I took a picture of his Colpster nips. So if you look here, this is Colpster's face. This is Colpster's face, and Colpster I had met too already. I met Colpster last TwitchCon, and he was sitting beside me. He ate this like big pasta with cheese and he can't really eat lactose so that was a problem i don't know why he did that but he did that and he's of course you know he's colpster so colpster's colpster um it's great man uh and this is when me and slate where's slate give me lego man slate slate you got pictures you gotta send them my way slate you got pictures you send them now man yeah, you, you tweet them to me, okay? It's Slate. So this is when Slate was was talking, because uh, K. Witty and Slate and I were like, oh, we're going to play Smash. Right? And Slate's like, you play Smash, man? And I was like, yeah, I play Smash. He's like, oh, I'm going to take you out. I'm going to take you out. And I was like, excuse me? Do you know who I am? And he's like, I'm, I'm going to fucking take you out. And he's he starts shit-talking me. Like, he starts trash-talking me. He's like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm gonna end the match so fast you ain't know what happened. You're gonna have to leave the con because you're so ashamed. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? And he's like, I'm gonna give you the left. I'm gonna give you the left, the left jab. I'm gonna give you the left jab. That's gonna be my neutral A. I'm gonna give you the left jab. That's gonna be my neutral A. And I'm gonna set you up. You're gonna try and jump away. I'm gonna catch a jump and then I'm gonna hit you with the haymaker. And I'm like, huh? Like, I'm gonna hit you hit with the haymaker and that's gonna be my back here. And I was like, yeah? And he's like, and then the match is gonna be done. You're gonna be out. And he's like giggling and smiling the whole time. And I'm like, what in the fuck? So I start trash talking back. I start trash talking back. I'm gonna, I, and I was like, man, Slate, you know, you better get your energy because you're gonna need it. But even if you get it, you're still gonna lose anyway. Or like shit like that. The whole fucking trip. Man, Slate. K. Witty better get ready because you're going to be crying on his shoulder all night. Just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with Slate. Back and forth. And he's like laughing. And he's laughing and laughing. I'm like pushing him. Because when I uh, when I have like a, you know, uh, like affection or something towards someone, uh, I like, I just get like really fucking physical like really physical like i like i push and i pull and grab and stuff like that that's just how i show my affection i don't i don't do it to people who are like oh don't touch me but you know i i do it get the fuck out of here revs so i do it to rababa too because she tells me puns and it's just like but she's a girl so i can't like throw her you know i can't like and i can't obviously there's only certain parts i can touch so it's like i have to like be careful so it's not as much on her <laughs> But on Slate, that's where I could go, like, all out, you know, like, like, just run into him and whatever and, and, and stuff like that. But yeah, that was fun. So Slate's fucking shit talking me. And so this is, this is where it started to, to, to pick up a little bit, right? This is where we started to pick up a bit and stuff. So 
you know, we saw like a birthday party going off like way over there and they they had to like wear a hat and ride this horse. And this is okay, so this is a story. They had to get on a horse and like ride it around and be all embarrassed and stuff like that, right? And that was great, but then I I, I look at Slate and he's and I was like, "What you think it, man?" He's like, "You know, I I want to do something." I was like, "What do you want to do?" He's like, "You know, I've always wanted to do this to Kindle." He says, "Kindle." <laughs> I want to do this to Kendall. You know, I always want to do something like this. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. I was like, all right, let's do it. You know, let's do it. I'll go up there with you. We'll do it together. And he was like, all right. So we went up there. And so remember, we're at a table with like 20 people, right? And there's Kay Whitty. There's this person, that person. There's Smile and Dominator. I don't know if you've seen Smile. Let's see. Smile. Smile. We didn't get a picture, did we? There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> There's him. Um, yeah, so... Well, if you sent me the video... Hey, Coltry, thanks for the host. Um, yeah, so... We're sitting there. I don't think we met Coltrane yet. No, I think I met him at the zoo. Um, we're sitting there, and we're, we're doing our shit and stuff, and Smiling is there and stuff, and we go up to our waitress. Okay? We go up to our waitress. <laughs> Uh, she's off somewhere and she's obviously like stressed and overwhelmed and stuff like that. And I was like, Hey, waitress. And me and Slate talking to her we're like, Hey, no, we talked to someone else, uh, the hot waitress. We talked to a hot waitress and we're like, Hey, do you do birthdays? And she's like, yeah, talk to your waitress. And Slate's like, all right. And we, <laughs> we walk to the other waitress. We talk, uh, we talk to her. Why did you ban? Yeah. Unicorn. Okay. Um, and so we talked to her and we're like, hey, listen, okay, listen. We have a friend who has a birthday and we saw what you were doing. Do we need to pre-plan that or can we, can we just do it now? And uh, she's like, yeah, we can do that. I was like, who's your friend? And Slate's like, Kendall. And I was like, yeah, the black guy. Because that's just kind of how I am. Like, hey, he's black. Like, that's the easiest way to describe him. The fucking black guy. The black guy who's sitting far away from us, right? Um, and she looks at she looks at me and she looks at Slate. And she's like, the exotic male? <laughs> and then so Slate starts laughing, right? I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know? And Slate starts laughing. And then she looks at Slate straight-faced. And he's like, yeah. You're like, yeah, like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so it's like, okay. Um, and that took like another hour and a half of waiting. Like we're waiting and I'm like, I'm me and Slate getting excited. Me and Slate getting excited. And uh, everybody's like, hey, what are you excited about? Like, what's going on? Like, uh, I was like, I can't tell you. Like, it's going to ruin the, the surprise. I can't tell you. I'm going to ruin the surprise, right? And then eventually after it took like an hour and I, we weren't even sure if they were going to do it. What am I doing? Um, we weren't even sure if, if they were going to do it. Um, fucking. They finally come around. Or no, no, no. We weren't sure if they're going to do it. But I was like, I went and I told Otz. And I went and I told Apollo. And I went and I told this person. Re Rebs and UBC are getting anxious about it. So I went and I was like, hey, you just got to wait for the surprise. You just got to wait for the surprise. It'll happen. Don't worry about it. And they're like, did you do something to Ophelia? And I was like, I would never fucking do any shit to Ophelia because that would be bad. Um, so we're waiting and waiting and we get our food and it's terrible and whatever. And then, uh, uh, what's it called? Fucking, she comes over to me and she's like, hey, we still on? And I was like, yes, over there. Like, and I point to Kay Whitty, like, Kay Whitty, Kay Whitty. And Slate's even like, yeah, that guy. And Smiling Dominator is sitting, <laughs> this is a good one, two seats away from us. And she ignores Kay Whitty and she goes straight to Smiling Dominator. And Slate's like, no, 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 no. Like, no, like that guy. And we're trying to be like that guy. And then she's like, ha, ah, we got a special announcement for Kendall. And it's like, that's not his name. 
And Smile and Domino is just like, yeah, yeah, that's me. And then so she put a hat on him and he had to ride around the table on a fucking like little horse. And Kay Whitty is just sitting there and Kay Whitty literally made this face. He literally made that fucking face, man. Literally, like I was watching him. He made that face. He's like, like he was, <laughs> and it was like, what the fuck? No. So then that was Smile and Dominator's birthday, apparently. Happy birthday to him. So then he rode around and then we paid our bills and we got up and we left. And that was it. And it was fucking terrible. It was fucking terrible. Yeah, uh, Petey was there. I met Petey too. I didn't realize Petey was... Oh, that's where we met Petey. Yeah, right after that, right? Petey was sitting like across from me. Petey ordered white people food. I remember that shit. I was like, hey, Petey, what you want? He's like, uh, I want the, the cedar plank salmon. I was like, okay, white people food. He's like, okay, well, I could get the... The grilled chicken. I was like, okay, more white people food. And he's like, all right, I'm going to get it. I was like, all right, all right, Petey. He loved it. He fucking loved it. Yeah, that was, that's Petey. Um, I met Petey. Petey was great too. Yeah, Petey was great too. I know, K. Woody. Yeah. And you had no idea. So then, uh, so what's not white people food? Like fucking kebab or something, you know? Like, like give me, give me some like sushi. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, like a good example of white people food is lava cake. You want to be white? Go get some lava cake. All right. That's, that's some, that's some good stuff right there. I can't remember if Cal Cronin was near me or not. Come true. Do it. What did Cinderella say after her photos didn't come? Someday my prince will come. I don't know what that means. I can't understand that. Crasher, thanks for the 16 months. Um... So anyway, after that, after that, we like leave. And man, this is where Slate, like this is where Slate's personality shines, man. So Slate is such an unbelievably like nice gentlemanly man. Like he's, he's so, so nice and sweet. We're all trying to go back to the, to whatever, to be like, hey, let's, let's, let, I don't, I don't even know where we're going. Do you guys know where we went after this? Did we go back to the B&B? But uh, we're sitting there and we're ordering Ubers and stuff with, uh, you know, everybody. And then there's uh, K. Woody, myself, PD. Uh, there's people I didn't know. Like, I don't know people. And I'm very bad at getting to know people because I generally don't like people. But there are some people that I didn't know. Um, and uh, I think Rebs and Ophelia already had gone. Um Paula was there and this okay so this is where Slate shines and he, this is how he is man uh he he goes up to Apollo and Apollo had to walk back to her hotel and it was already dark and he's like hey Apollo do you need someone to walk you back to your hotel or anything because it's dark and you know it's a different country and stuff like that and she's like no 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 it's it's okay it's fine but um but I was like oh man Slate look at you look at you he's just doing nice stuff like that being a good boy and stuff like that. And I was like, oh man, Slate's a good, he's a good one. He's a good one. Anyway, we get back in our Ubers and we go back. Um, yeah, it was Thursday, PD, the Discord party. Yeah, we go back and uh, we, uh, what's it called? Fuck. Yeah, we, we get showered and this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is an interesting thing. So we get showered. And <laughs> there's some time consumption there for things. Um, and we talk, you know, we talk a little bit. We're talking a little bit. And it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like whenever we went back to our apartment, Slate, K. Witty and I would just talk about what's going on. Like, actually, what's going on? What we're going to do? What's going on? Right. Uh, discard party this. Uh, and they helped me dress. They're like, I was like, hey, does this look good? And K. Witty's like, yeah, that looks that looks great, man. Or Slate would be like, not nah, change this or something. And we would we would have each other's backs. And that was really nice and really sweet like one time k witty came up to me and he's like hey man <laughs> hey smell this does this smell okay and i was like i don't wanna and he'd be like hey i need your opinion smell this and i was like all right give it to me and i just smelled it like i was like in like as much as i could smell it. i was like no you're fine right and that's that's like that's a really nice wonderful thing that it's like i wanted to do that i was like all right you need me i got you like i i will I will, yeah, fine, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, so we get dressed for the Discord party, and of course, everybody fucking looks great. Everybody looks wonderful. Uh, Ophelia looks good. 
Brad's is wearing this like ridiculous dress, and I was like, oh fuck. Uh, Kate Whitty looks like Kate Whitty, you know, he's stylish. He's got his shoes on. Slate's looking like a handsome man. Um, I'm wearing the clothes they got me, right? Uh, I'm wearing the clothes they got me, and that's nice. And so we get, we're gonna Uber down. And of course, we're late to everything because that's how we are. But this is where I think I met Gotta. Uh, yes, I believe so. Uh, and we go, we go down to the Discord party, and God is like, okay, like I just flew in, I'll be there in a bit, or where are you? And I was expecting a big fucking line, but the line's pretty short, right? And I was like, oh, well, we just, we just got to the Discord party. And the Discord party, Oz is there, everybody's there, like, we go there, and it's like, clubs aren't really my, my thing, you know what I mean? Oh, a Hattie's here, hey, we'll get to you too, sir. Oh, man, we gotta get to a Hattie. A hat, we got, we, yeah, a Hattie, he, he did great. It was fun watching his run. I had a good time there, a Hattie. Um, fuck, he killed it too. Um, Make your dreams come true. Hey, the Rogue One. Thanks for gifting us up to a Hattie. Uh, yeah, thank you, man. But that was, man, I, I didn't know you had been subbed to me, a Hattie. But that was, uh, we went to the Discord party. And clubs aren't really my thing. Like, I don't really go there ever. Like, I don't really like, uh, yeah, I thought I, I thought you were annoyed by me, Tay. I wasn't sure. I was having so much fun with Slate. Um, but it's like, I don't usually go to clubs or anything. I don't drink too much ever or anything, but they had an open bar and I was like, all right, well, let's, 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 let's figure this out. Let's do it. Right. So we go and get some drinks and stuff and hang out and 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 all that and then Gotta shows up right so K Woody likes to dance so K Woody does his little like little shuffles and his little like thing he loves it man so he's on he's going down there dance he's trying to get me to dance I'm like get the fuck out of here K Woody um and they're all like together doing stuff and stuff like that and Tracy Cole shows up but Gotta shows up and this is the first time I've I've met Gotta in person and it's loud as fuck Right? It's loud as fuck. So Gata shows up and uh I start talking to Gata and Gata's great, man. She's just she's just so like, okay, let's uh, let's look at Gata for a bit. She is she is so un like she is she was one of the people there that was like, God, thank God God is here. God, thank God God is here. Like there was really good parts of the trip, and then there were like Oh, I'm looking through his shit. And then there were, like, bad parts of the trip and stuff like that, which is, like, you know, whatever. Come true. But Gata kept me stable through a lot of the Fun bad time. parts where I was, like, okay, Gata, let's go talk. Let's go hang out and stuff like that. And she would talk, right? And she would give me, like, her honest opinion. And it's was, like, I wanted to hang out with Gata, and she wanted to hang out with me, and we would have hung out more, but it was just, like, there's just too much going on so we spent some time hanging out and she came and hang out, hung out with me when we could and so we're talking and she's talking about this stuff and i get to see how god works a little bit because you know i've got her in text but i've never uh seen her in person and stuff and she's having fun and uh you know she's talking to people and she's saying stuff and she's so uniquely gotta because she's like uh she will tell you exactly what she thinks Exactly. It just doesn't matter. She'll tell you. She'll be like, no, fuck this. You know, or like, no, that's great. Or no, this guy's, a, you know, like whatever. She'll, she'll say all this stuff. Right. And it's nice. It's really nice because once we talk, so we catch up, we do some stuff and like Kay Whitty and, and everybody's dancing. And I want to talk to Goddess. So we go, we go off the side where it's a little bit quieter because already my voice is going, you know, so loud in there. My voice is going. So we go and we talk and stuff. Like, say, how are you doing? Hey, what's going on? And stuff like that. And she tells me stuff. I tell her stuff. Again, secret stuff, like the stuff with the K-Witty and the Slate stuff. That's stuff that does not leave that apartment, so I can't tell you guys about that. Same thing with Gata. There's stuff that does not leave our conversation, so I can't tell you about that. But then Otz comes up, and I don't think Otz likes dance too much. So Otz comes up. He's like, hey, let's go, uh, let's go over here and hang out, right? And so we do that, and uh, we find this, like, Tekken arcade machine or something like that. Uh, I don't know if I have a video of it. I might. Do I? Oh, right here. Ooh, that's loud. 
So look, look how fucking into this shit Arts is. Look how into, into this shit Arts is. Uh, that won't, that won't. There we go. So I'm like playing him with Arts. Look how, look how fast he's going compared to my hands. And he ends up just destroying me. Like Arts is a mother. I don't know how to fucking play on a, on a fight stick. I'm trying to hit him and he's just taking me out. I took like one game off Arts maybe. But he was he was into it. Like he's fucking twitching with his like mechs and flowers around him and stuff like that. And God is sitting there like watching. I don't think God likes sitting. God likes standing and walking. I like sitting because already by this point my feet are hurting. Right? So then with Otz, uh, we're talking and Otz is talking and Otz will open up, you know, a little bit here and there. I'll talk more about Otz. Uh, Otz will open up here and there. And uh, that's that's nice and stuff. But it's mainly talking with God. And then uh, Deck and Apollo show up and stuff like that. And and we just have an overall fun, a really fun night. It was a really, really fun night. Like, I had a ton of fun, right? And then it's like, okay, well, we're going to go. Everybody's like, we're going to go. And it's like, like I think someone said, like, I spilt my drink. And I knew, like, that was enough. Like, no more. Tracy Cola was there and stuff. And there's a lot of other people. UBC was there. Like, like every, like there's a ton of people there. And it was really nice and, 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 and really fun. And after that, we all go back to the Airbnb. <laughs> and so the, the, well, I'll tell you about that later. So we get to the BNB and then we're like, oh, well, we want to play Smash. Let's play in, in Otz and Colpster's room because it's like my room's a mess and there's only two people in Otz and Colpster's room. So we're playing Smash and this was nice. So it was nice because everybody's sitting around and stuff. And everybody's like really excited. And it's like, it was like a nice night. And people are coming to, to hang out with us as well. And so we're playing Smash and um, and stuff. And this is this is the thing about God. So God will, will call me on my shit. Like very few people will call me on my shit. And I don't know how, how, okay. But I'm like standing there, like talking to someone. And I'm like saying, you know, like I'm an open person. Like you can ask me anything, ask me whatever you want. Ask me whatever the fuck you want. You know, I'll tell you. And God is like, you're so full of shit. And I'm like, what? And she's like, you're so full of fucking shit. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And she's like, okay, you will not actually say everything. You will let people know a certain amount that makes it seem like you're open, but you will actually, you actually won't. And I get up and I'm like, absolutely fucking not, Gotta. And that thing between me and, me and, me and, yeah, I'll be super snide about some questions. See, she remembers. Um, but, uh, yeah, I get up and it's like the same kind of deal with Slate. Like when I get, like when there's something between, uh, me and another person, I start to get like a little bit like pushy, like, no, fuck you. You know, like, no, nah, get the fuck out of here kind of deal. Not like I'll never be mean or anything like that, but a little bit pushy. Um, and then Gata just keeps, she's just keeps. And I was like, you know, Gata, you're right. I, that you're right. I, I. I will be snide about certain things. And Apollo's like, what's your favorite game? And I'm like, fuck, Apollo, don't, don't feed into this. Um, and she starts laughing. Um, and that was, that was really fun. And I remember Ben Rice. So Benjamin Rice, Mr. Strongman, like ben, one of my most favorite people in the entire fucking world. Entire fucking world. He calls me. He's like, I want to come hang out with you. He made an effort to come hang out with me. Like, he made an effort. He's like, I'm going to come hang out with you. And that was already nice. And so I was a little bit intoxicated for the first time in a long time. So I was just like, this this was me, Ben Rice. Um, uh, what is this? Oh, that's Lobos' food. Uh, why am I so far down? Where are my retweets and stuff? Oh, um, profile. So Ben Rice, I don't know how many of you don't know Ben Rice, but I'm always like, hey, you need to go and check out Ben Rice because he's fucking great. He's fucking the most wonderful, amazing person. And this is this is Ben Rice, right? So Ben Rice is legit one of the strongest people in the world. You notice how everybody here is just watching Ben Rice? They don't know him. No one knows Ben Rice. No one fucking knows Ben Rice. But they all stop to watch him do this. Like, the, he told me, he's like, literally, 
the gym stopped and just watched me do this because that's 700 pounds. He's deadlifting 700 pounds, and that's not even as much as he can deadlift. I think he deadlifts like 200 more or something like that. He is so strong. So fucking strong. Right? He's so incredibly strong. Um, and uh, so he, 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 came, he came to see me. Look at that. Like nothing. That's a little swag. <laughs> he doesn't even care, man. Yeah. So he's got nationals coming up. So he's competing. You follow Ben Rice right now. If you haven't seen Ben Rice, you don't know about Ben Rice. Yeah, that's nothing for him. Like, this is a light workout, right? That's not... Like, he's a big, big boy. Yeah. Uh, so Ben Rice comes to see us, right? And Ben Rice sits down, and I'm like, oh, Ben Rice. Like, I'm so happy to see you. Like, Ben Rice is someone I'm, I'm, I'm very close to. Like, I'm very close to Ben Rice. He's one of my... He's one of the people that it's like, okay, I'm going to... You know, we're, you're not... You're not going anywhere kind of deal. You're not going anywhere. 700 divided by 2.2 .2 is... Three hundred and twenty or something? Yeah. Ah, see, I got it, Viking. I was close. Uh, yeah, about th three, th yeah, around there. So a lot, right? Um, God, he was great. So he shows up, and I'm talking to whoever, K. Witty, this person, whatever. And some people are playing Smash. I'm not playing Smash because it's like I want to talk to these people. Um, and then I think God had just disappeared. Like, she literally just vanished. I was like, I have no idea where Gata was. And I was, like, a little bit concerned. But I was like, well, she's in the Airbnb. Maybe she just went to sleep or something, right? I'm not sure if I sent her a message or not. But I don't I don't remember. Um, but I remember hanging out with Ben Rice. And he's... Oh, yeah. Okay, I did message you. Good. So, I think Petey was there. Petey, you were playing Smash, right? Colster's there and stuff. And uh, we're sitting there and we're talking. And... Uh, and uh, it, was, it was just really nice seeing, like, all the people that I really liked together. And, everybody, and Ben Rice was talking to her bobs and stuff, and everybody was having a lot of fun. But then eventually, Ott's like, I got to go to sleep. And, I, and they're like, okay. And Ott's like, I'm going to go to bed, and we got to leave. So I think we leave and we go back to our place, like, mine, K. Witty's, and Slate's apartment. And so the way it works is you got like a fucking room here with the K Witty and Slate bathroom extended to the room and down here is a living room and then the door. So it's very small. And in the living room, I have the fold out bed. Um and did we did we go back to our place or did we just stay outside? I think we went back to our place. I don't remember. Um I think we went back to our place. And we just like hung out there. I, you're going to have to fill in the blanks for me, PD or someone. Someone has to fill in the blanks for what we did. I think we just hung out there. I don't know if we talked about anything or anything like that, but we hung out there. I'm trying to remember, but I, it was like a, it was a nice night. Like it was a nice night after the discord party, PD. It was a, a really nice night. Like I had a lot of fun. I got to meet Gata. I got to hang out with people. I got to do certain things and stuff like that. Right. Coltrane, were you there? I don't think you were there yet. I don't think I met you till the next day. Um, either way, I was, I was slightly, you know, intoxicated. Um, but I do, I do remember, I just have a different type of memory. I have like a, uh, associative memory rather than a recalling memory. Like I'm better at that. Um, so anyway, we, we go to sleep and everybody's like, we want to go to the zoo, uh, tomorrow. We want to do that. Um, hmm. Uh, and so I was under the pressure we were going to the zoo, but that was a nice night. Yeah, we hung out, we talked, we stood up, everybody got their Ubers. I remember Apollo got hers, like, her Uber got called, like, way far away, so we had to walk her there because it was sketchy. Um, 
and we came back and uh, hung out and stuff. And you know, you get those late night, those late night talks. Toby me thinks I'm funny. I, you are minimally funny. Um, minimally, minimally funny. Yeah, that's what I told. Okay, so that's what I told. Uh, Rebobs. That's when I told Rebobs. No, they're fine, Hattie. They get. Yeah, they're fine. That's when I told Rebobs. Like Rebobs didn't understand this. Okay, she didn't understand this. So she'll come up to me and she'll just tell a pun. And some of them will be kind of, kind of funny. So I'll like, I'll, I'll like fucking push her. I'll like, get the fuck out of here. I'll push her or something. I'll like, you know, I get a little bit aggressive when it's like, you know, this is just, just how I am. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, I get, I get more physical. Well, I tried to give an explanation. It's like, I grew up in a gym. So whenever someone's teasing you or some shit, you like push them, you hit them, you kick them or something like that. Cause it's like a little like, ah, like, you know, it's not just like a whatever. It's like, nah, you fucking kick them. You, you grab them, you start doing some knees at it. You know, it's something like that's what I grew up with. So that, that just comes out of me. Right. So it's like, if someone's like giggling away, like slate, say, so I'm going to hit you with the haymaker. You're going to fall so hard. You're going to sleep till Twitch comes over. And I'm like, I would kick them. Like I would kick them not hard. Right. But just to be like, you motherfucker. You know, um, like that. That's how I get. Uh, so I told her, Bob, I was like, yeah, like she's like, she thought that I would just be annoyed and I'd be pushing her. Like, I'm annoyed. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm going to push you. And I was like, no, that's not how I am. Like, no, it's like, no, I, like I, there's, there's some kind of bond here. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm expressing, I'm, I'm expressing some affection through pushing. I don't like your shit puns, but it's like, get the fuck away. You know, like that. She didn't know that. Like, Rebaba didn't know that at all. And I was like, all right, well, now you know. And then she never let me live that down. Like, ever. Never let me live that down. Um, but that was that night. That was a good night. Yeah, that was a that was a fucking good night. If there's anything I'm missing from that night, you guys gotta tell me. Um, <clears throat> everybody looked really good, too. Everybody looked fucking sick. Uh... Yeah, everybody looked good. And so the next day, uh, the next day we go and we get breakfast. I think we got breakfast with uh, Unicorn Bunny Coffee and Curious Peanut. A Hattie was there. That's where I met a Hattie, I think. Um, that's where I met a Hattie. I wonder if we can get a Hattie's run up here. Is uh, GDQ a Hattie? There we go. Uh, 20 hours. Is it up yet, Ahadi? I don't know if it's up yet. It is. Hey. Okay. Wind Waker. Oh, that's Breath of the Wild. It was after Wind Waker. Sekiro. There it is. We'll load that for later. So, um, yeah, I, I, I had, he was literally on the opposite side of the table for me. So I didn't get to talk to him, but I got to see him. He's wearing this hoodie and stuff. And he looks like a, it's like a, a handsome young man. I couldn't tell he was 20. So I had, he's 20. I couldn't tell that he was 20. He looks like he's like 25, 26, something like that and stuff. But he's cool, man. He's eating and people are talking with him. I'm curious. Peanuts is like big bulky fucking mother like fucking bulky as shit like he is jacked and curious peanut has the accent like the, the southern accent i like him like he's great peanuts peanuts great uh i didn't get to talk to him too much but he i told him i was like i you're, you have the best accent because he has the he has the the yeah get it boy <laughs> get it he has that accent like uh he has uh yeah you go get it like he has the, the southern like uh like a southern drawl, I think. And man, that's fun. And UBC was there and she was uh, sitting on the opposite side of the table as well. Um, and uh, Appleby Patios was there. I didn't actually know who Appleby Patios was. I thought I thought he was someone, I, I had no idea who he was. And no one introduced him to me and we didn't really talk. So I just, I just, I was like, oh, there's that guy again. Is he, like, I thought he was just, coincidence that he was there with us right but then when he was sitting down there I was like oh shit he's with us right and I didn't want to be like 
Hey, man, <laughs> it's been like two days, but I'm going to come talk to you. So uh, later on, I just said like, hey, Appleby. And he was like, hey, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, we, yeah, Skylord was there. As Skylord, oh man, Skylord's a sweet, sweet guy. Yeah, at that breakfast. And me and K. Whitty and Slate are just like really, like a little bit hungover, a little bit out of it right now. But Skylord's a sweet guy. Like he's sitting there and he get, he'll come up to you and give you a hug. And you can tell like he's very gentle. He's very gentle and he's, he's caring. And he's like, you know, like the type of caring that's like, oh, like am I, you know, like am I overstepping or anything? I was like, no, you're, you're fine, Skylord. And he's saying nice things and doing nice things and stuff. Uh, get out of here, Gino. Is that so? Yeah, okay. You didn't fucking go. Uh, no, no. I see what you're saying. Hey, Gino. How was your concert? Um, but that was there. We had breakfast and it was good. Uh, they gave me like a, two eggs on like corned beef. And I got the hash browns removed because they're gluten free, right? And they gave me fruit instead. And that was good. Breakfast in the morning was really nice. The food there was really good. The like waking up there on zero sleep was really good. I think in all the four days I in the four or five days I was there, I think I got less than ten hours of sleep. But I was fine. Like I pro probably looked decrepit, but I was fine. Um, and so we eat and stuff, and that's nice. And then we're like, okay, well, let's go to the zoo. And I will be fucking honest. Like I'll always be honest. I fucking hated. <laughs> I do not like zoos. I thought everybody was going, so I went too, but it's like that wasn't the case. You know, like, uh, bro, I was looking at the picture Cal sent you. All right, hold on. Look at this, man. Me and Cal Crone. Look, I'm gripping his ribs. Like, I got a, I got a grip. I got, that means that's how you know. It's like, well, you, you know, if I got a grip on you, then you know, like, hey, I, um, I'm there. I want that, man. How do I, can you tweet that, Cal? And he's got a grip on my shoulder. And I'm listening to him talk. He's listening to me talk. You know, I love Cal Cronin, man. I really do. He's, he's great. Yeah. Cal's thick. Cal's like, he's got muscle. Like, he doesn't seem like it, but he's got muscle. Uh, he's tall. He's a handsome young gentleman. Yeah. He's, he's good. Yeah. He's a, he's good. He's funny too, man. Cal Cronin. Um, where was I? You guys got to tell me where I was. How tall is he? I'm 5'9". I'm like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, so he's like 6 feet probably, 6'1". You know? Oh, this is the Code Vein hoodie I had too. I want a Code Vein hoodie. Oh, the zoo. So fuck the zoo, man. Like fucking... Yeah, fuck the zoo. Uh... Zoo is fucking terrible. There is like good parts of the zoo, but it's just like, generally, I don't like, I don't like going to zoo and walking around. There were some good parts of the zoo, but, and, and, uh, it was just, it exhausted me, the zoo. Like, uh, so, okay. So here's things that happened. So at the zoo, um, this was really nice. So this was a really nice part. Um, we got there late, me, K, Witty, and Slate. We get, the, we got there late and Shio messaged me. And Shio's like, hey, uh, I want to meet up with you. Where are you? And I'm like, I'm I'm at the zoo with Kay Witty and stuff. And she's like, oh, I'm going to come. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like, that's not a good idea. You know, that's not a good idea. Like, you do not want to go to the zoo. And um, uh, she's like, why not? And I was like, because you just got surgery. You literally got surgery like a, like yesterday. You have surgery and you, you can't walk. Like you can't walk. Like anything with her abdominal muscles is incredibly painful. Um, so she's like, no, 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 I'm coming. And I'm like, all right, well, there's there's nothing I can do to stop her, right? And there's only a few ways to to do things about it. Uh, and it's like, she's gonna, she's gonna be having so much trouble. So I was like, well, I think the other people are gonna just, you know, gonna go and do their own stuff at the zoo, right? I'm going to hang out with Shio. I'm going to help her walk around and stuff because she came here to see me and a few other people, but me too, right? So I was like, I want to, I want to, I want to spend some time with her. So Shio gets here. She can't fucking walk. She gets here with Lady Boss, uh, who's great too. I think something happened with Lady Boss. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Uh, Lady Boss, me and Kate, we took a picture of her. That's Lady Boss right there, 
right? Lady Boss is like hardcore. She she will fuck you up. Like she's she's got some gang affiliation for sure, because there's there's some stuff going on with Lady Boss. But she's great. Um Lady Boss is doing good. I'm glad. Thank you for telling me that. But she will mess you the fuck up. But she's there with Shio, and so I'm sitting with Shio and walking around and the others go off and that's fine. K Witty starts streaming, I think. Um and so I spend the day hanging out with Shio, but like helping her walk. So she's like leaning on me and I'm like helping her walk, which is fine. It was nice. Um, and seeing animals and then Gata will come up and walk with me and say a few things about this. I think Gata had to eat, ate, ate with Lady Boss and stuff like that. Um, and then eventually, so we walk Shio around for two hours and then she's like, I can't do this anymore. And I'm like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go home, Shio. And then she's like, yeah. So we get her all the way back. And we get her out and we and lady boss takes her home and i said you're gonna be all right she's like yeah and then so that was when i met shio um and that was a nice part i actually really liked uh hanging out with shio talking to her and stuff like that because she came just just for me you know and it's like how could you not be happy with if someone came all this way went through all this stuff after surgery you know just 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 for me you know and she did all this stuff um I met her again later, but that was that. And then the rest of the, the zoo was bullshit. Don't go to the zoo. It was $56. We got in a bus and there's a guy talking, making jokes and stuff. And we were just staring at trees. Like there's so many trees around the bus that we couldn't see the animals that we just saw. We saw the fucking trees. And every time it would break, it would like screech and stuff. And you know, like it was just bad, Like it was terrible. Um, and then uh, we saw snakes and stuff like that. I, I met a few people. I met Coltrane, right? You'll see plants. Exactly, Hattie. Uh, I met Coltrane and stuff. Coltrane's like this. Let's see if we can get a picture of Coltrane. I think I got a picture with Coltrane, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. There we go. Look, Coltrane's this like, uh, you know, he's tall. He's handsome. He's got flowing hair. He works out, so he's muscly, you know? He speaks in a in a very uh, like he lives a, the L.A. lifestyle. Yeah, that's Coltrane. So I meet him, and <laughs> I don't I don't think he liked me at first. I don't think he liked me at all. So I was just like, okay. Uh, but we met Coltrane. He was hanging around and he's talking, getting to know him and stuff like that. And I I heard him say a few things. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool man. And Coltrane, you like he did some good stuff. Like he did some really good stuff. Like I, there was this one time we were at a pizza place. And the bill was all weird and they were just taking forever. And we had to go to GDQ for a Hattie's run and stuff. And, and so Coltrane is just like, hey, man, you guys go ahead. I'll take care of this. You can pay me back after, right? Like just, oh, you can pay me back. And I was like, wow, that's, that's fucking really cool. So we all went to GDQ. He took care of it. He caught up, right? And it was like, oh, fuck. I, I like that I look slightly short. Yeah, she was taller than me. Yeah, she like, like hunched down. Um. But yeah, Col meeting Coltrane was like cool. I had no idea who he was. Apparently, he raided me one day, and I just didn't see it with milk and stuff like that. And Rabo really likes him and stuff, so I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I felt bad, <laughs> and I was dead that day. But uh, who else did I meet? I briefly met Blueberry Brio. She seemed pretty busy. Um, uh, I shook uh, shook David's hand. Uh, he seems like a nice guy. Stuff. Bye, guys. Uh, what? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where, what's this going on? Oh, we're going to go eat. Okay, you enjoy your lunch, dinner, breakfast, or whatever. Yeah, it's 1.43. I'm hungry, too. I need to I need to eat. I should order some food, man. Um, Man, what should I order? I'll order some food while we're talking, okay? Skip the dishes. I wish we got to talk more. Yeah, it would have been nice to talk to you, Hattie. I just wasn't sure, because you were doing your run and stuff, and I was like, I don't want to fuck up his focus or stuff like that. I can understand how that would be... Uh, you know... Nerves and stuff. What am I going to order? Not Edo. I will just get a beef and shrimp. Chicken and shrimp, sukiyaki beef, beef and shrimp. There we go. 
Uh, white rice, zero scoops. I can add pineapple, huh? Uh, I'll add pineapple, why not? Okay. Uh, what if I add... I don't want anything else, guys. I'll get... Double beef. How about that? I'll take away the pineapple. No, I'll fucking keep the pineapple. Nah, I'll take away the pineapple. Dude, should we take pineapple? What do you guys think? Should I get pineapple? Try the chocolate. I saw Cosmo on Saturday. How is that? Yes, get pineapple. All right, we'll get pineapple. Uh, why not? Check out. Place order. All right, so where was I at the zoo? You guys got any questions about the zoo or anything? Skip meal, man. No. Gotta be healthy. Oh, UBC can't go until you try the chocolate. Oh, I'm so sorry, UBC. I'm so sorry. All right, let's try it out. I don't know if pralines have gluten in them, but you know what, UBC? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna eat this because you, you got it. No one else. If someone else got this for me, I would not eat this. Because, well, I probably would. But if it had wheat in it, I... Oh, wait. Wow, this is nice. Look at this. This is expensive. Wow. This is really nice. Look at this. This is what I'm going to eat. I almost don't want to eat it because it looks so nice. You know? You shut up, Gino. Look at that. What guys you want to... Which one of you guys want to try? Huh? What do you guys want to eat it? At least... Yeah, I'm going to eat it. Which one? Oh! Okay, I guess I'm trying that one. This is what I'm trying. That's fucking good, man. That's really good, UBC. I didn't expect this to be good. That's good. Hey, thank you so much. That's good. I want to try another one. I'll just have one more. This one. Ah, oh, hi. Hey, it's good too. They taste the same, but that one, t the one I just had tastes better. This one, right? Honey? I, 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 gotta, I gotta stop. I gotta stop eating this. I'll have like one a day or some shit. That's really good, UBC. Thank you so much. That's great. Okay, you go to sleep. Thanks for hanging out. That's fucking really good. Okay, where was I? Do you have any questions about the zoo or anything? Oh, man. That's good. Ugh. Um. What's your favorite plant? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. So... The zoo day was like a bad day. Like there, yeah, there's uh, there's bad days and good days to the con, right? But thank God Gata was there at the zoo. Thank God like Shio was there and stuff like that, you know, because that was that was if if I was just at the zoo like and they weren't there, I'd be like a mess, man. But I also dodged uh, some old man. Me and K Witty and Apollo were walking, and an old man just like backed up and I had to do like some sick like matrix dodge and stuff and that was cool um but that day was was terrible because it was like uh the zoo and after that we went back ate got ready I think they had pizza or some shit slate and and K witty and everybody oh yeah we were leaving the zoo Petey took us so Petey was driving <laughs> and, and 
uh, I think Rebs had said that we want to go get pizza. We want to go to Papa Luigi's or some shit. Like actual Papa Luigi's. Um, and so they're like, we want to go to the one near our house. house. And Petey didn't know where we were staying because I don't think he had he'd been back there yet. Um, so we went to a Papa Luigi's on the other side of the fucking... Like where we were supposed to go. We went to a Papa Luigi's. We parked. We get in. I walk in. I'm like, hey, you guys got gluten-free stuff? They're like, no. And then, so we sit down to wait. We wait 10 minutes. And then I realize, I'm like, this probably isn't the right Papa Luigi's. And they're just like, yeah. And then we just leave. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I got to have another one of these chocolates. Um, yeah. And so we get back finally, and they've all done their stuff. And I'm tired as fuck. I just want to sleep, but I need to eat. And Kay Witty and Slate take me for tacos while they're waiting for their pizza PD as well. Right? And so it was like a subpar day. It was like a, like a, uh, day. Was that the day we went to Dave and Buster's? Or what did we do that night? Yeah, we went to the wrong pizza place, Coltrane. Oh, yeah. Oh, we went to Dave and Buster's. Okay. So after that, we had to get ready for Dave and Buster's. Um... And so I'll be honest, like, the zoo and Dave and Buster's sucked for me. Like, it was just fucking terrible. It was horrible. Like, I like I like the people, but it was just... There was just too many, you know? Because it's like... For me, it's like... For me, I like to hang out with, like, a certain group of people. And then... If... If there's, like, a few more, it's like, okay, cool, I can get to know them too. But the zoo and uh, Dave and Buster's... Or Dave and Buster's in particular, there was just there was seventy people. Yeah, there was seventy people, and it's like I don't know like any of you. And I think I actually started to get an anxiety attack, like a little bit, because I was just so overwhelmed. Because what happened at Dave and Buster's was Lance and Barbie came to see me. So I don't know if you know Lance and Barbie. Um, I'll show you Lance and Barbie. But Lance was my roommate way back when. I know Lance. He's like a really good friend of mine. This is Lance, right? And he has a Tesla. So he came in his Tesla. He, and he wanted to hang out with me, right? Really wanted to hang out with me. And Night Barbie, of course, is Night Barbie. Uh, she's like, she has like this very popular Roblox game and she's making bank on it. And like, you know, she's she's a good friend of mine too. Like they were they were there for me and, you know, they're, they're really cool, right? And they live real by, close by and they came to visit me. Like they drove an hour to visit me. Um, so I really wanted to like hang out with them. We didn't get a picture together or anything. This is Lance's Tesla he's in, right? Yeah, they were married. They were married. They have a wedding and they came to visit me. So I wanted to spend time with them, right? But then Ben Rice was there and I wanted to spend time with Ben Rice and Gata was there and I wanted to spend time with Gata because we hadn't had actually any like time time where we were both like sober and we could just talk and stuff like that. And then there was other things going on at the time at Dave and Buster's, which were really negative that I can't talk about, right? Like, it was just destroying me. Um, I remember I was talking to Comer, and I could not focus on what he was saying. I was trying so hard to focus on what he was saying, but I could not focus on what he was saying, right? And I was just, I was a mess. And these guys came, and they took me, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I was a mess. So I started panicking, because I was like, I want everybody to have a good time, especially the people that were there for me. I want you guys to have a good time, but I can't be in six places at once, you know? So I had to manage things or choose or shun people. Like as soon as I left uh, with Lance and Barbie, I got in their Tesla, we went for a ride, um, which is cool. It's got like the space doors and stuff. Oh, it's great. Um, then people were like messaging me like, hey, where are you? Like, hey, what's going on, right? Um, yeah, where are you? What's going on? And I was just like, you know, I am, I will be back as soon as possible. Um, so I tell him come back and then stuff and we hang out and talk and stuff like that. And I felt so bad, man. Cause I was like, God, I just, I would like to just, you know, hang, like talk to you guys, like actually talk, not get distracted, but talk. Um, the same thing with Gata. And throughout all that time, I'm like going through this like ridiculously rough, like like, fuck, this is really bad. Like, not just the anxiety, but the underlying situation. I was like, I can't figure out what to do. Like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? Like, you need to calm down, focus, 
you know, talk to Comer, talk to the, you know, like, you know all that stuff. Um, I couldn't figure it out, right? And Kay Whitty was off somewhere, and and that was a rough night. And then eventually people started leaving. And then uh, that's when we started playing games. Yeah, Ali Coco was there. And that's where I met Tay. So, uh, no, this is long since. I met Tay Reyes Cray there. And I was previously under the impression, yeah, did it, honey, that she did not like me. And I was just like, oh man, she doesn't like me. That's fine. Some people just don't like me. I was like, I didn't like. So I was trying to be like very like, um, just uh, uh, like sedated around her. Like, uh, like don't do too much and don't do too little and don't like, uh, you know, be too, too obnoxious or anything like that. But she came up to me, she gave me a hug. And she's like, you want to come play games with us and stuff? And you want to do these things? And I was like, yeah. Like, hey, that's nice. Thank you. And she's like, here, you can play on my card and stuff. I was like, oh, you know, and I was just like, oh, she's so sweet. Right. And uh, we went to we went to go play this game called fucking Pop Lock or something. Pop the lock. I don't have any pictures or videos of it, but I'm sure a bunch of you do. Uh, and so I bought forty dollars of credits to pay to play with Slate Poplock, and Kate Whitty was playing too. And it's this game where this thing goes around a circle, and you have to hit a button. As soon as it goes to a certain point, then it rotates. You have to hit another button. Rotates, hit another button. You have to do that fifty times. I pop the lock. It's like apparently it's lock picking. Um, and that was okay. K Whitty won three times, Slate won two times, I won once. <laughs> it was like a competition, but it was like engrossing. Like people were watching all the time, right? Some guy met me there. I, I don't remember who he was, but then after that, it's like, okay, time to go home. And that night felt like, you know, when you go home from like a bad night, like there was good things about that night, but that night going home from that just felt like God. It's like, I just ate like a fuck ton of fast food. Now I feel like shit. You know what I mean? It's like, I just ate like absolute bullshit and now i was like i'm regretting what i just ate that's the feeling it got yeah i had it what at two to two to six that's when it gets hard um but i met tay and she was really cool so i did meet people there and i met colmer right colmer i met him earlier i haven't talked about colmer um but colmer's fucking <laughs> it was his birthday <laughs> I don't know if he's got any, like, uh, if he tweeted any pictures. But I got pictures with Colmer. I don't think he's tweeted any of them yet. Yeah. I don't think he has. But uh, I, I got pictures with Colmer, but <laughs> uh, he was he was cool, man. Me and Colmer were talking. And you know how I'm always, like, they're on his Discord. All right. Hold on. I don't have Colmer's Discord. I don't think. Colmer is a big boy. Like he is, he is a, he is big. Like he is solid. Like he's the opposite of me. He's fucking big. Are you in that picture? Oh, you are. There's a Hattie. Look, he's just happily sitting there, right? Oh, there's Appleby Patios too, right? Hey, look at that. I got a picture with a Hattie. Um, Colmer was great. And so Colmer is interesting. Because it's like, you know, I'm going to join his Discord. How do I get rid of this light mode, by the way? This is like new. All right, Lethal, calm down. Calm down, Lethal. Calmer. What the fuck is the Discord, Calmer? Welcome. How home sweet home chat rules Colmer TV. Where is it? Top right, click your picture. Oh, you're doing for the oh dark theme. Thank you. Oh, that's way better. All right. Well, I don't know how to get to Colmer's Discord, so we'll just have to like look at Colmer's Twitter. Colmer's Colony. Colony. All right, let's see if he's got anything. So I have to be this course. Oh, there they are. 
So I got a few with Colmer. If I got any more. <laughs> oh, that's Apollo. Where am I? There, that's the one I wanted. Colmer. So, I was with Colmer, and he's a big boy, right? He's a big boy. He's fucking like, yeah, he's massive. Um, I'm getting tired, guys. I'm sorry. I've been talking for two hours. Uh, thanks, Ali Coca. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's, he's interesting. So he told me some stuff that I can't repeat, obviously. Right, I tend, when I tend to talk pe to people, I tend to get things that, that I'm like, well, you can't repeat this. And I'm like, yeah, I won't. So there's obviously stuff I can't repeat. Is that... That's, yeah, I don't know who that is. That's not Coltrane. There's Mike Jones. But, uh, Colmer. You got it, Blutzenza. Uh, Colmer. Well, you know how I'm like, Colmer has some, some demons inside. He's got, so, he's got some demons. He does have some demons. He does. Like, he does. He's like, yeah, I do. I've seen some shit. And I was like, oh, man. And he's like, solid. He is fucking solid. Colmer could rip a man apart. He could, he could legit rip a man apart, right? And that's an interesting and really cool thing to me because he doesn't, right? And that's a choice. He does not. He does not. Like, he is so nice and so sweet, you know, so he can, but he doesn't. And that's what's cool. Like, it's a really cool thing. Hey, Biotic Nova. Hey, I don't, okay, I didn't get a picture with Biotic Nova. I actually didn't talk to her too much, but she's cool too, okay? Colmer was great. Um, thank you for gifting a sub, Skylord, man. Hey, Biotic Noah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, he spent a lot of the trip making sure Shio was okay. He drove to her, stayed with her at night because Lady Boss had to peace out because of something that happened, um, like an emergency. So Colmer would like drive to Shio, stay with her, make sure she's okay and all this stuff, care for her and stuff like that. And he took on that responsibility himself. He didn't have to, but he did. And in the meantime, they would all, like, we would hang out and he would have fun. By the way, I'm wearing Slate shorts. So Slate just gave me some shorts. Like, this is the guy Slate is, you know? Um, Slate, I was like, I don't have shorts, man. Like, I have nothing to wear. And Slate's like, here, man, I got you. And he's just like, have some shorts. And he, he gave me his shorts to wear. I was like, are you sure, Slate? He's like, yeah. And so I'm wearing Slate shorts there. Like, those are Slate shorts, and God, he's fucking, uh, he's great, too. Like, Slate, oh, man, like, there's just so many things. But Colmer, Colmer is a guy, like, I liked Colmer before, but I like Colmer a lot now. Like, I grilled him. I went down into what he's thinking, why he's thinking it. You know, I tried to figure him out, because you can't do that over Twitch. you got to have a conversation, right? And so I was uh, talking to him some other night, and I went in depth with Colmer. And I'll talk about that a little bit more, but Colmer was great. Okay, where the fuck was I? Uh, Dave and Busters, right? So I couldn't even talk to Colmer the first time. I felt so bad because my head was just gone. Like I was just a mess. Um, and after Pop Lock, we went back. What did we do after that? Tay didn't come back with us. I just, I remember that. Uh, Ushepti, oh fuck, I met Ushepti there as well, just briefly, and Ushepti was sick. So Ushepti was a little bit sick there, so I didn't actually talk to Ushepti too much at that point. He was sick to the point where he was like, uh, where he was like, uh, talking, and then he'd have to like cough and he'd stop talking and stuff. Uh, but Ushepti was good too. Oh, we went back to your guys' place and played Smash. Okay, who went back? Did Comer come back? Was that the night Comer came back? If that was the night Comer came back, uh, then, uh, yeah, it was. So we left Dave and Buster's, and we went back to my place. And this was a really nice night to make up for all the terrible day. Um, it was a really, really nice night because... Uh, someone just knocked on my door. One second.
I got I got some food. I forgot food was on the way. Um So yeah, uh Where was I? Where was I? You guys remember? Dave and Buster's. So, okay, we're leaving Dave and Buster's, and it was just an overall not great night. Um, and so we get back to our place, right? I don't remember who's there. Uh, I know Coltrane was there, because I, I remember where he was sitting. And I remember thinking, okay, well, this is the first time he plays Smash. Is he any good, right? And, and stuff like that. But I remember playing a little bit and then talking with Ben Rice. And Ben, he's like big. He came to, uh, uh, what's it called with us? He came to Dave and Buster's with us and I wanted to spend more time with him and I felt a little bit bad. And I, I actually ended up talking to him a little bit. Ben, like Ben Rice is, he is one of my favorite people in the whole, whole world. Uh, he, he, this is gonna be loud. Like he's, he's just, he's so good, you know? And he likes spending time with me. Like that's what he likes. He likes me. He wants to spend time with me. He wants to talk and spend time with me, you know? And like, that's, that's something that's really nice. How do I get this to work? Twitter's shit, man. But he, so he was sitting next to me and he was talking me through things. And of course we're talking and it's like, well, not everybody can hear this and stuff, right? So we're talking and he's like talking to me and and right before we went right before we went to Dave and Buster's, I met Ben Rice and you know what he fucking said to me? Why doesn't this repeat? He's sitting down and he's like very big and thick. Like he's he's muscly, like his legs are bigger than than my torso, right? Like he is a Big boy. Right? Will that repeat? That doesn't repeat. Why not? Okay, whatever. He's there. But he was great. And so, like, sitting to him and talking to him, like, he was trying to make sure I was okay and stuff. And he was, like, concerned for me. And I was worried about him. Are you not having a good time and stuff? And he's like, no, you don't need to worry about me. I'm completely content. Completely okay. And so I talked to him for a bit. Right? And then I think I get distracted or something. And I go and talk to uh, Colmer or Rababa or someone, or maybe Apollo. I think Apollo was there. Uh, no, I think Apollo left. And so I go and I talk to Colmer and Cal Cronin, right? Colmer and Cal Cronin. And this is when Cal Cronin opens up a little bit. Electronic Supersonic, thanks for the sub, man. Thank you for the prime sub, man. Enjoy your emotes. This is, this is where I talk to Cal Cronin, I think, a little bit. Um, hold on, I'm gonna grab that picture again. To Cal Cronin, okay? And so, with Cal Cronin, I'm like, hey man, I start to open up to Cal Cronin and be like, I'm glad you're here, man, we gotta hang out. And he's like, yeah, we gotta hang out. But he's like, he's gonna head out, right? So then I start talking to Colmer, okay? And Colmer and... Why do I have this? Colmer and Rababa are there, and we're talking, Colmer and Rababa. And eventually, people start leaving, and then uh, Colbster and Ben Rice are left over, and Kay Woody just loves to sleep on my fucking bed. He fucking loves it. He's just sleeping on my bed. Sleeping on my bed, drooling. Slate goes back to his bed, and Slate comes out and stuff. But we're just hanging out, right? We're just hanging out and, and talking, and we get into some deep, deeper stuff with, uh, with, with Colmer. And this is where I start to, like you know, pick into him, trying to figure out what's going on, right? And you don't, you'll have to ask him this because it's his information, it's not mine. But this is where I say, like, Colmer knows bad shit, right? Colmer's been through some bad shit, right? But he chooses not to take that into the world. Like, he actually chooses. And he's smart. Like, he's a smart guy. Like, uh, I drill Tute. Uh, he's super smart. Um, and he's aware of what he does in his actions and stuff and how he chooses to conduct himself and stuff like that. So that was great. Me and Colmer talked for a while and talking, like talking about specific topics, like this is how I'm oriented. This is why I'm oriented. This is why I do what I do. Um, talking um, stabilizes me. It reminds me, okay, this is what I'm doing. 
This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing, right? So I started to stabilize. And it was like a really... You'll have to ask Colmer about the conversation because he could probably relay it a lot better. Okay? A lot fucking better. But the thing that happened that night is Ben Rice came over. Right? Ben Rice came over and talked and I think Colmer eventually had to leave or he wanted to go out and vape and I'm like I'm too cold man but Colmer's like I gotta go back to Shio or something and I was like okay so then Ben Rice and Rabob st stuck around and they're talking with me K. Whitty and Slate were asleep K. Whitty's fucking sleeping on my bed like right there he's just sleeping uh, drooling and uh, so I started talking with with uh, Ben Rice and and Rabob's right and this is this is this is where the, the good part of the night happened so talking and ben rice says i gotta order uber soon because i gotta do my fucking 700 pound deadlift tomorrow right and i'm like all right we'll make sure you do it and he's like yeah okay but we started talking and going into like what i was like you know how i was feeling what i was feeling why i was feeling it uh why i wasn't okay why things you know things like that and just talking and they listen right and I'm very close to Ben Rice. Like, I'm very close to Ben Rice. So I'll tell him whatever. I'll tell him anything, you know. He's a, he's someone who's like, hey, Ben Rice, like, you're in my life for, for the full the full thing. But with Rebobs, like, I like her a lot. But I wasn't like, I'm going to tell her everything. Because I don't know how she works, right? So I don't know if she wants to hear it. She doesn't want to hear it because lots of people have lots of barriers up. And of course, you don't want to just be like, I'm going to break your barrier for no fucking reason. You know, that kind of has to happen by itself. But Rebobs wanted to stick around and listen too, right? So we listened. And then at one point I was like, hey, I'm talking about a bunch of stuff. I'm not saying anything. But Rebobs like, if you know, like you're not going to be able to unknow so I can tell you this stuff, but only if you want to, because it's going to affect things. And she's like, yeah, I want to listen. I was like, are you sure? Because, you know, it could go bad, you know? And she's like, yeah, like, I I would like to know. I can't know until I know, and I, I would like to know. And so I told her about some things, some, you know, can't, can't leave that conversation. And we kept talking. And we talked for, like, another hour, Ben Rice, uh, Rababa, and, my, and myself, until Ben Rice is like, you know, I gotta go. Like, I, I have to go because I have to do my workout tomorrow. I'm going to get like four hours of sleep and I need to lift 700 pounds. Um, and I was like, all right, fine. And then so he left and then Rabab is still sitting there. And I was like, you want to go to bed? And she's like, I mean, I could. And I was like, okay, well then what, would you like to continue talking? And she's like, yeah. So we kept talking, me and Rabab's and occasionally Slate would come out. Occasionally K. Witty would come out, but rarely because they were sleeping. We talked until 8 or 9 a.m. that morning, right? So we talked all night and just got all our shit out of the way. Like, we talked all fucking night. And it was nice. It was like, oh, like, holy fuck. You know, like, now we're friends. Like, now we're actually friends. So now I can, like, uh, message you and be like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. Or like, hey, whatever. Or I can, you know, I can, I can actually do something. Like I could be like, you know, I can, I know that whatever I do now, she won't, it won't be a, a bad thing because uh, she understands. Um, we talked a lot. We talked a little, about like a ton of, like uh, just a ton of stuff that was going on. And that made that day a lot better because it justified the day justified all the bad shit in the day because I got to have that time uh, with Rebaba. I got to have that time with Rebaba. And it was evident that like, that's the thing. I'm always worried about another person. Like, hey, do you want to hear this? Like, do you want to talk to me about this? Because I, when I talk, like I talk about certain things that are very in depth, right? Very in depth. And they can be boring to some people. And I understand that. So it's like, but then some people are like polite. They don't want to be like, ah, blah, blah. Right, so it's really hard for me to get an honest gauge on what a person, uh, if a person actually wants to talk or listen or be around. But no, she wanted to be there because I started falling asleep. And when I'm tired enough, like I've fallen asleep on stream before, I started to fall asleep and I would have micro dreams. I would have micro dreams where it's like, I would dream for all of two seconds while I'm having a conversation, right? So I would talk 
And I was taught, I was telling her about some physics experiment that had some relevancy in terms of, uh, you just by being an observer, you change your environment. There's not, uh, there's a legit experiment about that. I was talking about that. And in the middle of the sentence, I said, and then you heat the mattress, which makes no fucking sense at all. Like none, like no fuck. I did this to Kay Whitty later too. Um, and she was like, okay, like you're falling asleep. But then she stuck around because she's like, she wanted to keep talking. And I was like, wow, that's really nice. Like, you're not going to get any sleep tomorrow. There's going to be all this stuff that you're doing tomorrow. Right? But she stuck around. We talked. And it's like, now I'm way closer to Rebobs than I was before. And I know how she works a lot better. Right? Still like, you know, not like, oh, I know everything about her because I don't. But... I know her a lot more and she was one of those people on the trip where I was like, okay, you're here. Like, you know, that's great. Like you're here. Um, and so it was like 9 AM and we had to get breakfast or something the next morning, something we had to get brunch or something. We had to, well, we had to go to the con. This was the first day we were actually going to go to the con. Um, and I was fucking tired. Um, so I fell asleep and I was like, okay, witty slate. Don't wake me up, man. Like, don't wake me up. Let me skip breakfast. Let me skip brunch. I need to sleep. Um, so they let me sleep and then they were like up and ready. And then I woke up and they're like, Hey man. And I was like, Hey, give me a second. I'll get ready. I'll, I'll get up. And I got up and I showered and I got ready and I'm like dead. Uh, cause you know, I was up all night. Um, but what I had learned was that Rebaba hadn't gone to sleep. She didn't go to sleep. She was pulling an all-nighter. She was up the next morning. She hadn't slept, right? She did not sleep. So we go and we eat and we go to the con. Um, and I don't remember what we were doing there. This was the first day of the cons, of course. It's like meeting people and it's like, uh, it's, it's like, oh, that's where this picture was taken, right? Was it? Uh, is this where we took this picture? God, how do I look awake at all? Yeah, with Cal Cronin and Kay Witty. Oh, that was the Code Vein thing. Okay, well, thanks, Tay. Um, yeah, we're hanging out. And, uh, oh, God, I love this one. We're just, we're at the con because we haven't, we went and did our, we went there on our own. Um, and we met, meet up with Cal Cronin. We're actually driving by and we see Cal Cronin on his phone like talking to his mom um, and I think he was legit talking to his mom we're like Cal Cronin and he just didn't hear us but he came and met up with us there and I was just so happy to be with these guys man I was so fucking happy to be with these guys cause it's like Slate he's great he's still shit talking me about Smash like he's still shit talking me about Smash K Witty's there look at K Witty you can tell like he likes me right you could tell he's like look how, look how he is me and K Witty are close right and Cal Cronin I've always liked and like that was a nice group of people just to hang out with. And I think we met Smile and Dominator there. Smile and Dominator gave blood. He gave blood. Uh, so he could get a, a copy of Code Vein. Uh, thanks, Tay. All right, he gave fucking blood. So he was cool. He was there. And we were sitting there. We were talking, just hanging out and stuff. And yeah, we had some nice pictures. That was nice. It's like, I'll, I'll, okay, so I'll tell you what kind of guy K. Witty is. Okay? Fucking... K witty man. Uh, so I take this picture and I'm crossing my legs. I don't know why, it just it was comfortable. And so what K witty does immediately, like fucking immediately, man. Um, he has so many pictures. Should be around here. Where is it? Did he do it in a reply? He didn't. I don't know if he took it down. There we go. Uh, and replies or like how do I how do I go to my mentions and shit he'll do shit like this can't wait he just there's like a guy this is behind curious peanut 
So look, look at this. This is me, Peanut. He like did a tweet where he zoomed into my face and then he did a tweet where he zoomed into this guy's face. <laughs> this is just some random guy, man. God, that's funny. Um, where is it? I know he did it. I know he did it. Where are you? He did it somewhere. Basically what he did is, uh, I can't find it. He like just took a picture of my leg. And he tweeted it and he's like, chicken leg, man. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, we were at the con and I can't remember what happened at the con. I, th I wanted to meet up with Gata. I think we met up with some other people. Uh, I saw Blueberry Brioche briefly. Um, went to the Artist Alley. Carson, Apollo was there too, I think. Um, that's Apollo. Yeah, Apollo is there. Uh, and oh, that's what we did. So we went with K. Witty to go to the Code Vein tent, right? All right, you got it, Coltrane. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, it was great to meet you, sir. Uh, we went to the Code Vein tent, and so they were giving out hoodies if you could beat the boss, right? If you could beat the boss, they were giving out hoodies. And so we all got different hoodies. And the hoodies were nice. So we all beat the boss and got got all, all these wonderful hoodies, right? And people come, Cal Cronin came. Evie, that's where I met Evie Lynn. Uh, did I get a picture with Evie? I must have gotten a picture with Evie. Come on, did I not? I thought I did. I, I think I got a picture with Evie, but I can't remember. Uh, we'll just use this one for now. But Evie's great. She gave, she just gave me shit. So she like gave me like this. I almost don't want to open it because it's, it's really nice. You know, Froz Link. Oh, thank you, Neuro Camel. There it is. <laughs> this is shit K Woody does, man. He just shows me this and he fucking laughs. <laughs> He just shows me this and he laughs, man. Um, but yeah, Evie was there and she's she's great, man. She's so happy and and ready to go. And she just hung out with us. And that was cool. I I like Evie a lot, but I can't get through to her. Like she she's someone where it's like I I could not figure out how to get past the surface level with her because I I think she's just private, which is fine. Um, but it would have been would have been nice to know her a little bit better. But she was great. She gave me this. I'm gonna open it right now. You guys hear that? Oh, almost dropped it. Look at this little card. Cute little card right here. With all her social media stuff on the back. She's dressed up. You got one of these things. It's like a little keychain. I like it. It's really cool stuff. But she was really sweet to me. Really nice. And we sat and we did the cone vape thing together. And uh, we got hoodies. I'm gonna show you the hoodie. I got. It. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you the hoodie. Yeah, so it's like a cool hoodie and it's like it feels good too like it feels really nice and they all had different hoodies so tay fucking tay man she got her hoodie on the first try she got her hoodie on the first she killed the boss on the first try i didn't i died to the boss i died to the boss and i had to like so you're supposed to stand in line and then you get one try at the boss and then if you lose you go back to the the end of the line and do it again but the people that were there weren't paying attention at all so i died to the boss and i just reset it and kept going <laughs> i got one that way and k Whitty got his on his first try too evie took quite a few tries cal crona got one um 
But yeah, we got our hoodies. Yeah, actually cheating. You fucking bet, Rogue One. Um, you fucking bet. Um, so then we did that, and uh, this was Saturday, I believe. This was the day of DDQ, right, Ahadi? Yeah, so we did that. We got a hoodie and stuff, and that was nice. And Tay was being super sweet. Kay Whitty's being Kay Whitty, you know, also nice. And, and then this is where I actually got to hang out with Gada. Right, because Gada and Ushepti, Ushepti was was there too, right? And Gada was meeting up with us and stuff like that. Um, oh man, Ushepti's fucking like he's he's. I'll tell you about him later. But uh, I meet up with Gada and she's like, "Hey, you want to go with a walk for a walk? You want to talk?" I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, let's go in. And so we just walked around um, the city, just talking about stuff. And that's of course stuff that we can't. Uh oh, I forgot to tell you. I met Morph too. Morph. I met him at the Discord party. I was absolutely obliterated. I didn't get any pictures with him or anything, but I, I like Morph. I'm pretty close with Morph. He's a handsome, stylish man, of course. Uh I think this is the Elgato party or something. Uh I met her too. She's cool. She just recognized me from Morph's stream. Um fucking morph didn't get a picture with me but yeah i met morph too but i i was with god and i just walked around with her and talking and it was nice because we actually got to do it right god will tell you like she'll she'll tell you some some stuff she'll like she'll keep you grounded she will keep you grounded like you know you're floating up she's not gonna let you keep going up on like clouds of smoke she'll like pull you right back down um but yeah, she was great. And halfway through walking with Gata, we met the Australians, uh, Scuba Steve and uh, No Objective Gaming. And I met Dagum as well. He took a picture. I don't know if he's tagged me in it, but he took a picture. Dagum was someone I ran Mega Man with way back when. And they were they were great. Like, they were nice, wonderful people. Um, and Gata was going to hang out with them later. And then we went back. And we started going back to the Code Vein tent because we didn't want to lose them, right? Uh, scuba, I think it's it might be Scuba Edge, yeah. Uh, uh, scuba Steve, I thought it was. I don't know him too well. He had colored hair. Um, but we go back and we just kept talking. We kept talking until uh, Ushebti popped up. But this isn't when I really talked to Ushebti because he was still sick. Um, but we left the Code Vein tent and then where did we go from there? We went to eat. We went to eat pizza, I think. Yeah, Scuba Edge. All right, that's where I meant. We went to eat pizza. Um, and I can't eat pizza, so I just sat there. But there was like 20 of us, and, and Lons and Barbie came along, and I had a little bit of talk time with them. Um, and this is where Coltrane hit the bill. Like, this is where Coltrane, like, saved us. Because there's so many people there, and we had to go. Um, but my time with God was cut short. I wanted to talk with her more. Uh, we had to go because we had to get to Ahadi's GDQ run, right? And K. Whitty was on the couch, so he needed to be there. And there was like shit going on with security and stuff. Um, and so we get to GDQ, and this is the first GDQ I've ever been to. We were actually sitting like right, right here. Uh, you can see K. Whitty. Can you see us? You can kind of see us. Yeah. So you can see us like right in the back. Look right in the back there. You'll see us behind Curious Peanut, right? Um, so we get to GDQ, and it's, we had to wait like two hours for the Wind Waker run to be done, and it was just mess but i got to talk to colmer more while we were waiting and that was really nice right, that was great and apollo was there too i talked to her a little bit too and that was good too um and so hattie he uh he was running and he's like amazing at bloodborne i've done the speed run and i used his runs as like a template so i kind of know what's going on a little bit but it was really nice because when he when he came up like all of us in the back like you can see all of us in the back we all got moved up to sit behind the couch. So it's like Slate right there. Me, I'm sitting beside Tay. Tay's sitting beside Matinator, who I don't know too well. And in the back behind him is, uh, I believe that's Ushebti. And then, uh, was that Colmer? Colmer. And then there's Lobos. So we met Lobos there as well. He came and sat with us. And then there's Joe Apollo Deck, right? In the back. If you look closely enough, you can see it. So now if you pay attention, like you can barely see us. Um, if 
you pay attention to where myself and Slate are, I was making Slate laugh so fucking much during this entire run. Like, you'll have to really pay attention because it's really hard. I don't even know if you'll even be able to tell that he's laughing, right? But so fucking hard because uh, I'd just be, like, whispering shit to him and playing with him and telling him, you know, talking shit to him about Smash and stuff. And then what happens is that Curious Peanut decided to move his head, right? Just a little bit, and then he kept moving it until he just covered my entire range of, of motion. So I could move here or here, and you just couldn't fucking see me because Curious Peanut's head is fucking massive. Like, he's a big boy, right? And there's a screen right behind that couch where we can watch and see what's on the stream. And so we can see ourselves. Like, you can't even see me right there. You see Slate laughing a bit. Like, oh, I wish they could zoom in because I was making him laugh so much. And I was like... If people see this run and they notice you, Slate, what they're gonna they're not gonna be see they're not gonna see me. They're gonna notice you. And they're gonna be like, man, this guy thinks Bloodboard is really, really fucking funny because he was dying laughing. And they're gonna be like, who's this Lego man? And where does where where do his eyes keep going? Because when he laughed, his eyes would squint. And he thought that was so funny. Meanwhile, I'm trying not to distract a Hattie or anyone. I don't think they can hear me, but really like it was it was great and i had he did great like he did really good um it was a good run it was impressive to watch especially with the the stage and and all this stuff hold on you see the pick oh there it is look at that i didn't know that was a pick yeah so this guy is i don't know who this guy is i think this guy's just some random his deck apollo uh joe uh, Lobos, Ushabti, Colbert, Barry Crepe. I didn't really meet her or talk to her. Matt Nader, Tere. That's me and that's Slate, right? We were sitting like this the whole time. There's a screen right here. In a beta. Oh, I have no idea who he is. But that was great. And Lobos is really cool. But I was making Slate laugh so much. And we were having so much fun. And so Slate, during this GDQ run, he donated $25 twice twice and he labeled it Faraz Khan and he said hey this runs great and I like all the runners and everybody's cool and KWD's doing wonderful content and I'm happy to be in the back but at Curious Peanut can you move your head a bit so the world can see my beautiful face <laughs> and he said that but they never read it out man they never fucking read it out so I was just blocked by Curious Peanut <laughs> yeah I had he, like he, he, like this is what this is what was going on behind you um uh oh did you viking okay um this is what was going on with that uh, with during a hattie's run because you know i've seen bloodborne i know how the run goes so it's like as long as the hattie does great i'm happy you know and he did do great he did wonderful i think there was only like one or two like minor fuck ups like a uh, yarnum skip was was missed but it's not a big deal it's not like he died on any shit or anything like that he did fucking great um i will code fuck you k would get out of here Get the fuck out. Okay, Slate, man, you're banned. I, I warned you, man. I fucking warned you. Um, But then here's the thing. So then... uh, Okay, yeah. <laughs> you're so, so funny. But then... uh, So you see in the back how I'm trying to get around Curious Peanut. And Slate's just giggling because, you know... You could see literally everybody except for me. Like, I was just behind Curious Peanut. Um, so then a Hattie finishes run and he hits an incentive for like the gift, the gift shit. And so for some reason, Curious Peanut decides to like move. He decides to move his head. So then I, I wonder if it's right here. Is it here? Hattie had to do a lot of like getting up and stuff like that. I'm going to show you, man. I'm going to show you. This shit was so funny. This shit was so funny. Come on. Come on, Hattie. I got to find it, guys. I have to find this.
I will mess you up, or Bob's. Is this it? Talking to, you can see me talking to Slate. Come on. Come on, let me do it. Come on. Please be here. Someone find a timestamp where I'm doing this. Where me and Slate are doing this. Because this was this was just this was really, really funny. Um I'll keep looking at Tom. I'm talking no more. We're gonna go way back. So this is the glitch exhibition after the run. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I think it should be here. Come on, Slate. We're talking. I think I'm talking to Deck right now. And telling him what's going on with us, what we're going to do. Slate's... Ah, there it is. No, he just leans in. All right, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, you see me and him going back and forth behind Peanut's head? Yeah, we, go back. we were doing that a bunch. Yeah, and like no one could tell. And I was like, man, I hope people see this. Yeah. In? Out. Because <laughs> we could see ourselves on the screen, right? So it's like this was happening during the run. And this happened a few more times too. Oh, man. It was it was funny. I thought, I thought Tay hated it. I wasn't sure. But I thought she fucking hated it. Um. But meanwhile, Hattie's commentating and Kay Whitty's like, yeah, and then you get this item and, uh, yeah, and if you really use it and shit like that. And it was just like, it was, oh man, it was a, it was a, a good time. And I met Pup Time there. Apparently people know Pup Time, right? Um, so that happened and that was like our GDQ experience, right? And then after this, good job, Hattie, by the way. After this, we like walked outside, all of us. And oh, no, no, no. That's when I met Distortion. Uh, I like this, actually. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that, too. This is where I met Distortion. Oh, and I forgot I met Larksa, too. This isn't right. Um, so earlier in the day, I had met Larksa. And she's like really, really, really nice. But we had met her and then everybody kind of like dispersed and they just left her there. So I, I like went up to her and I started talking to her. I was like, hey, like what's going on? Like, are you, you okay? And she's like, oh, I, I lost Dist. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> Curious Peanut. See? <laughs> no, it was, it was fun. He's like, Curious Peanut's a great guy, man. I don't know how long, I've talked, I talked about you a little bit before, <laughs> but. That was funny, man. Um, but I met Larksa, and she was like, I can't find Dist. And I was like, uh, like, do you want me to help you? And she's like, yeah, yeah, like, he's streaming right now. I was like, okay, let's go to his stream. So I went to his stream. And I, like, I was like, you want me to message him? She's like, yeah. So I, I re-subbed to Dist, and I was like, Larksa is looking for you. And he's, I couldn't hear him or what he was saying. I couldn't hear him. Um, and he said something, and then I just gave her my phone. And then she's like, oh, I'm going to go find him. And I was like, okay. But look how happy Addy looks right there. Um, and that was that was really nice. Uh, and then later on, Larks is great. Like, I really like Larks. I only met her for, like, a little bit, but I actually really like her. Um, later on, after GDQ, that's when I met uh, Distortion. Where is Distortion? I think this is too far. This is too far. There he is. Mr. Distortion himself. And he just shows up and he's pretty chill. He's just like, hey, you know, like, hey, like, what's going on? I was like, can I get a picture with you? He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> we just took a picture and he's just like, all right. He's really chill. And then I think he sat and watched the rest of G GDQ with, uh, with, uh, with Lobos. Right, so that was cool meeting him, um, and Lobos was cool too. I met him later, so we'll talk about Lobos later. But then after that, we left, and it's like, okay, well, a bunch of people are going to go to In and Out. A bunch of people want to go to In and Out, 
um, to eat. And I was like, okay, I haven't actually eaten all day. So I, I don't know if I can, I can do this, but we're walking. Um, and the Ubers were like $60 or something. And I think Coltrane and Tay actually went to In-N-Out. Um, but we just went somewhere else. We went, we just walked downtown to the gas lamp district. Um, and found her Bob's because she wasn't at GDQ. They went to the Twitch, the Twitch party with Blink-182. Oh, Petey. Look at this. We got a picture with Petey. I haven't talked about Petey, but Petey's great too, man. Like he's fucking, he's great too. It's because I didn't have any pictures with him. Um, but we went to go back and eat. Uh, well, let's talk about Petey. So Petey like, just hung out. He was just having a good time. And he like drove. So he like, yeah, he is from Cali. So he just like drove us around and stuff and took us to place. He played Smash with us and stuff. He was really nice, really happy to do stuff. Uh, he helped organize the Souls dinner, which was nice too. And that was great. Like Petey was, was cool, right? And it was nice to see Petey because he's always here and stuff, you know? Oh man, Rickon. Thanks for staying subbed, man. Thank you very much. Thanks for 39 months. I think you should have come to TwitchCon, Rickon. Um, but anyway, Petey was great, right? So, and he would tell me stuff. He told me and Kay Whitty something really sweet. I don't know if he's here right now. I doubt it. But he told me and Kay Whitty something really sweet that I can't, I can't repeat. Like really, really, really fucking sweet. And it was just a really nice thing. And of course, he was around, so he saw things and, and stuff like that. So that was good. It's a nice boy, Petey. You see Petey, like this is him. He's shy. He's a nice boy. Um, no, Viking, don't do it. So we left GDQ and we're going to go talk. And I was talking to Apollo. And this is when we took this picture, I think. Is this this? But I was like, hey, Apollo, like, like uh, I didn't get a picture with you. Would you like to take a picture together? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I wanted a picture, but I was too shy to ask earlier. And I was like, what the fuck? Shy? Really? Um, and so we took a picture. We talked a little bit. And Apollo is cool, too. Like, she's really cool. She's really... She's hard to read. Apollo is... Like, I can generally figure people out. Generally, I can figure people out. Like, no problem. Like, I can be like, okay, this guy wants this. This guy wants to talk about this. Because if you talk to people, just the direction of the conversation, the way it goes, is that generally people gravitate towards talking about things they like and then they just do all the work for you so just they say this they say that and you're like oh i'm interested in that like let me like tell me about this tell me about that um apollo it's really hard to tell which way she's going and why but we talked a bit and she's cool like i really like apollo yeah she's great i was happy i got to meet her um i don't know if i can tell you no, I shouldn't. I was like asking her questions like, hey, what is this? What about this? Hey, what do you like this? And she's like, well, this, this, and this, and this, and stuff like that. So that's like, I I learned a little bit about Apollo, but yeah, not, not enough to be like, oh, well, I know exactly who she is, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then after that, we met Rebobs, who hadn't slept who had not slept, we met old Rebobs. Rebobs would just go around all the time being, she would come up to me and she'd be like, old oh, Rebobs, cause she thought it was funny. <laughs> um, and so she had no voice. She had no voice and she was just walking through the city at night, none, no voice. And she's just walking through the city. There she is right there, right? Um, yeah. And uh, she had no voice. She hadn't slept because remember, the night before that, she stayed up all night. And we were talking. Um, so I don't even know how she was alive. She's like, I need to go get food. I'm so tired. So we just walked and got got some food. Um, and then Deck and Tracy Cola joined us. We got Deck in, who wasn't supposed to be getting, able to get in. Like I like. Okay, so we were technically the last party. Um, and they're like checking IDs and stuff. And they're like, oh, we have a 20 year old. And they're like, oh, like, okay, well, he can't come in. And it, it was a Hattie. And we're like, no, no, no. no then, then we're not going to eat here, right? Like we told him, we're, like, we're not going to eat here. And we're talking to him. And he's like, okay, listen. You guys can come in, but you have to make a Hattie promise not to drink. 
And we're like, okay. And I was called up a hottie and we're like, is that okay with you? And he's like, I promise not to drink. I'm just hungry. And he was like, okay, so we get him in. Okay. And we sit down at the table and that's all good. UBC's there. And it's nice. It's really nice to see UBC all the time. Like really nice. Like she's just a nice uh, person to have around. I don't think we took a picture um, of this, this dinner. Right. But. Oh, there's bearded Belgian. There he is. Look at this handsome man. I talked. He was one of the first people I talked to. Picture right there. This is the shirt that Rebob's got me. These are Montreal's jeans. This is at David Buster's, I think. Um, but we got a Hattie in, and then Dex showed up late, and they're like, "Yeah, kitchen's not open, man." And then Dex like, "Oh, I can't get in because they say kitchen's not open." And then so I go out, and I'm like, "Hey, Dex." Like, come in with us. And he's like, is he with you? I was like, yeah, he wants food. He's like, are you the party with the 20-year-old? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, okay, you can come in. And so Deck comes in with us. And we get Deck some food. And Tracy Cola shows up too. And Tracy Cola, I didn't get a picture with her or talk to her very much. Um, But she's really cool. Like, Tracy is really, really cool. I'm creeping pictures that aren't my own. So this feels weird. But she's really cool. Like she's she's really really nice. This is what she was wearing, I think. Uh, she gives like really good hugs and stuff like that. But I I wish I got to talk to her more. Um, so then we sit there, we get all the bills redone, we eat, and then we go back. We go back to the place to play Smash. I think I don't know who goes back with us this time. Um, but we go back, and I think we're just resting and sitting and talking and Coltrane was there and they're playing Smash and here's the thing so you know how Slate I god I wish he was here right now you know how Slate was trash talking me all this time about Smash how he's like uh you know like man I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with the left that's neutral A and then I'm gonna wind up and set you up for the right haymaker and that's gonna knock you like that was uh that was uh that night all right, Addy, I'll see you later, man. Hey, thanks for hanging out, man. Um, that was a night where we finally decided to play Smash because we were not, we were fine not being busy enough. This guy right here, right? We we're fine not being busy enough. And so we're messing with Slate. What are you waiting for? I'll, I'm going to play Code Vein after this, this shit's over. <laughs> Uh, talking with Slate and he was like he's just shit talking me so much about Smash so we finally play Smash, Smash that night and it's like for me it's like I don't know how Slate plays like I'm talking shit back I'm talking shit back but he might be really good you know what I mean he might be like super fucking good I don't know like I have no clue so I'm getting a little bit nervous man i'm getting a little bit nervous and so we play and we play and it's the first match is really contentious like people are watching like we stopped everybody playing so we could play it's really contentious like we're dashing back and forth and people are like wow this is really high level play and i'm like fuck slate's good <laughs> but but then we play more and more and more and guess what the score is can you guess out of out of the four games what was the score for me and what was the score for slate see if you can guess tell me if you if you can if you can guess what the score was between me and slate Three one four zero. Need more of this UBC chocolate. I want this one. Seven one four zero easy five seven. Score was four zero. Four zero, baby. He didn't take a game off me. He did not take one game off me. He's talking all this shit and stuff. He did not take one fucking game off me. Not one. And at the end of it, <laughs> at the end of it, Slate's like such a gentleman, man. He's so cool. He's such a gentleman. He's like, he's one of my favorite. Look at him. Like, look at him smiling there. Lego man, Lego man Slate. And of course, I'm like rubbing it in and stuff. And he looks at me and he smiles. He's like, hey, man. Good games. And he like shakes my hand. I was like, Slate! Now I can't shit talk you. Right? 
<laughs> he's talking shit to Apollo about how he's going to beat me in Smash, right? And I was just like, oh my fucking God, man. Oh my fucking God. And Apollo's all like giggly about it. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but took him out in Smash and then we hung out. We talked a little bit more. We're Bob's and K Witty and stuff like that. I don't remember if that was this night or the other night. Nice blend together. I think we just went to... No! No, 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 no. This was a night where Slate's friend... Um, uh, Ryan. So Slate's friend got ditched by, like, his group. So Slate, like, said, Hey, man, you come with us. Like, you hang around with us. So his name was Ryan. Where Bob thought he was Ben Rice. I don't think there's any pictures with Ryan, but she thought he was Ben Rice for some reason. And she's like, oh my God, you're not Ben Rice. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not. And he was a little bit quiet, but he came and hung out with us and he was having a bad night. Um, so Slate's like, hey man, you can take my bed. I'll sleep on the floor, right? Um, so Slate was originally sleeping with Kay Whitty in the same bed, but Slate's like, I'll sleep on the floor. You can take my bed. And then Kay Whitty's like, no, man, you're not sleeping on the floor and I'm not sleeping with your friend because I don't know him. <laughs> um... And that's fine. So then K. Whitty came and he slept with me, right? So it was Slate and his friend Ryan in a bed. And it was me and K. Whitty. And K. Whitty's like, hey, I'm going to sleep. Like, so my head's going to be by your feet. Your feet are going to be my, by my head. So this isn't weird. And I was like, all right. Hey, Hell's Wolf. Um, and I was like, that's fine. And I was like, but I got shit to do in the morning. So we got to sleep, right? Um, and so that night, was a cool night too because we were so tired but you could hear Slate and Ryan having like a heart to heart in their room and me and Kay Whitty we were talking back and forth like he was on the other side of the bed I was on one side of the bed but we were both like laying down like looking at the ceiling like a little kindergarten story type thing and we were talking right and he was telling me about stuff that's going on with him and the con and stuff like that and I'm telling him about stuff that's going on with me and stuff and it's like we're, like it's connecting like it's like man you know I know how that feels and like, I'm sorry, this hat, I'll do whatever I can to, you know, to make that work, you know, to like, let's get through this together. And that was like those moments, those moments were nice. You know, those were like, those moments were irreplaceable, right? And I think Ben Rice was there uh, at some point as well, hanging out with us and stuff. I think um, I wanted to talk to Ben Rice more. Those moments were the nice, good, wonderful moments right so talking back and forth being like yeah like this is going rough and, you know this person did this and stuff like that and so on and so forth and stuff and we're talking and I'm falling asleep but I didn't want to know I didn't want him to know I was falling asleep so he'd say something and I'd hear the beginning I'd black out and I'd hear the end and I'd try and repeat back and fill in the blanks like yeah man I know that I know that this is how that goes and that was this and then lie and then this this and this and he's like yeah man and I thought I was doing a good job like I thought I was fooling K. Whitty that I wasn't falling asleep right but next morning I was like talking I was like man I was falling asleep he's like yeah I know like I was talking to you and, and you were repeating things back to me that I didn't say at all <laughs> and I was like oh fuck <laughs> so he's like but I knew you were tired so went to, went to sleep so during the night, so here's the shitty part. During the night, I wanted to get some sleep because, you know, I had to wake up to go um, eat and hang out, right? Um, and Kay Witty, at about 6 a.m., we were up at 4 a.m., at about 6 a.m., he starts fucking snoring. Like, <laughs> like the, the like closed airway apnea snoring. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm a light sleeper, right? So I wake up and I literally prod him with my foot, like prod his like, shoulder, like, stop it. So he stops. <laughs> uh, he doesn't wake up. He just stopped. And then literally an hour later, I wake up. I look at my phone. It's like 7 a.m. And he's like. <laughs> and I'm like, God fucking damn it. So I prod him again. And I'm like so tired. Um, and then the same thing happened again at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. I was just like, fuck it. I'm getting up. So I got up. I took a shower. And then I was in a towel. And then I like sat back on my bed. And then I instantly fell back asleep just instantly fell asleep in a, in a towel. And Kay, what he was telling me, he's like, I didn't know you could have come back to bed. Like, I, I felt bad and stuff. And I was like, okay. Um, but that morning, I, I had some stuff to do. I went and I, I hung out with uh, Apollo. Um, we talked a bit. Um, and that was good. That was really nice. 
That was really, really nice. Uh, right before the con, we figured some stuff out. Um, that was good. She's a, she's a she's pretty cool, man. Um, yeah, she is pretty cool. Um, and then after that, we went to the con, and uh, we met up with Cal Cronin again. Right? We met with Cal Cronin again. And this was on Sunday, I believe. So this was like the last day of the con. And I get there and we talk to Ben Rice because Ben Rice is leaving that day. And Ben Rice comes up to me and he says like really nice, wonderful things. And he's like, if you ever want to you know, talk or hang out, like I enjoyed my time with you. I enjoyed the talks with you. It was valuable to me. Like I really, like, he's Ben Rice. And he's being very sweet and wonderful about it. Right? Like just great. Oh, also this is the night no, this is not yet. Um, just really nice and wonderful about it. And really sweet and stuff. And that was the last time I saw Ben Rice. Because we were going to go into... Oh, actually, no. Before this, before this, I met up with Cal Cronin. Because Cal Cronin was leaving. Right? Cal Cronin was leaving. And so he's going back to LA and stuff. And he's talking to me and stuff. And we talk about some stuff. And it's like, hey, man, you, we should meet up before the next TwitchCon. He's like, yeah, man. Um, but I wanted to see him because I like Cal Cronin a lot. I think he's he's absolutely wonderful. Like, he's a great guy, you know? Um, so I talk to him and just hang out with him and stuff, and it's wonderful, right? And that's where I also met Kitty. Oh. Ooh. Can't do that. All right, sorry. That's where I met K, uh, not K Woody, Kitty. I like this picture, Ali Coco. I like it. Or Comer, where's my Twitter? Kitty to top at. And so she she wanted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking too much. It's getting. <coughs> That's not good. So she wanted to meet up, right? Where's Kitty? Um. And she's like making an effort, like a really big effort to like meet and stuff. Um, and so I was like, oh, I want to meet up too, right? And uh, she comes up to me and she's so excited and so happy and she's like, small. So I'm like, oh man. Um, and she's with the Rogue One who's right here, right? And I was like, I look at him, I was like, oh fuck, I know you, right? He's like, yeah. And so I was like, oh shit. So I didn't get to talk to Rogue One very much because we were in a big rush because we had to go to Ophelia's fucking panel, right? We were in a big fucking rush because we had to go to Ophelia's panel because I really wanted to go to Ophelia's panel. Um, I told Kitty that, um, but she came up to me. She's like, I want a picture. I was like, I, I love a picture. And then she gave me like, she, she hugged me like this. And I was like, that's a good picture. Like most people will just do like this, or like sometimes the hover hand or whatever. And it's just like, but she gave me uh, a big hug and I was like, hey, Kitty, you got some nice eyes. And she's like, oh, thank you. And I was like, I got to go. Uh, and then we peaced out. And I wish I got, yeah, I wish I got a picture with you, the rogue one. But I, I just, we were so exhausted and so stressed and so overwhelmed. I was trying to coordinate with Lance and Barbie and stuff and make sure they had, they had shit, shit to do and stuff like that as well. Um, but so we leave and then Cal Cronin is going to go. So I give him a hug and stuff like that. And be like, all right, well, see you later, Cal. It's my code vein hoodie. You know, a big hug, and uh, he was cool. And it's like starting to set in that this is the last day for everyone. This is the last day we're gonna we're gonna see each other and and stuff. And this is it. And although this con was kind of rough, there was a lot of good parts to it as well. A lot of really good parts, and. Uh, yeah, a lot of really good parts. And it's like, man, I'm going to miss you. And he's like, I'm going to miss you too, man. And uh, then Cal left. And then I hung out with Ben Rice. Oh, I'm sure people cried, Crow. I didn't. I didn't. Ben Rice. And Ben Rice is saying all this nice stuff. Like, hey, if I don't see you until whenever, I was like, you always are free to visit. And I like our talks. And I like our time together. And I value it. And I wanted you to know that. And I was like, yeah, Ben Rice, you know, you being here. Again, it's like you're like Gata or Rebs or K Witty or Slate or uh, Cal Cronin or something like that to me, where it's like, if you weren't here, this would be a much, this trip would be much, much worse. And I would, 
I would like to, to see you, so we're gonna do that. And Ben Rice is, he's a, he's ridiculous. Do you know that Ben Rice has severe ADHD? Do you know Ben Rice has severe ADHD? Um, and uh, he's explaining it to me. He's explaining it to me how his ADHD works. And he's like, here's what you need to do, okay? You're gonna take a deep breath, and on every count, you're gonna take a deep breath. Okay, and you're gonna count to ten and start back at one. And so you go one, then another one, two, another one, three, another one, four, another one, five, up ten. And at ten, you go back to one. And I did it. And he's like, Did you do that? And I was like, Yeah. And he's like, he's like, it took me three months to be able to do that. It took me three months to be able to do that. And I was like, Holy fuck, hey dead eye. Holy fuck. And he's explaining this to me. He's explaining meds and mindfulness and all of this stuff and stuff that he's doing, stuff that he's talking about. Yeah. And it's like, man, he's such a, like, he is like up. Like, he is way above everybody else. And it's like ADHD. No, he didn't forget to take breaths, but one thought would grab him and he'd go over there or he'd count to 23 and he'd be like, oh, I was supposed to start off at back at back at one, right? Or some, something like that, you know? Um, just telling me stuff like that. And it's like really good stuff. And of course he's solid. Man, you know what, Ben Rice? So right before we went to Dave and Buster's, Ben Rice was sitting with us and giggling along with Rababa and stuff. And I hadn't seen him for a year. Um, I hadn't seen him for a year. And he's like, he's great. Like he's solid, right? So the first thing I'm sitting beside, I'm sitting next to him. And the first thing he like says to me is, uh, he says something about like, for us, how about? And he's making fun of Rababa the whole time with a Swedish accent because he can do voices, right? And he's so funny. Like, he's so talented. Like, if you have not, like, you need to see Ben Rice. Like, you need to see him, right? Um, let's see if I can go pull him up again. Uh, need to see him. Right. Like he's just He's so good and he's so gentle And he's so nice He also is obsessed with my hands He thinks they're the softest hands in the world I'll tell you how that came about So the first thing he says to me Is like He says something, something, something And this is of course he's making fun of Rebaba so He's making fun of me as well And he says something like Something, something When are you going to get this bread At instant like, That triggers me Like that's like That's like you mother like you fucking you bitch like no that is not the first thing you fucking say to me ben rice so i'm like like jumping on him and like trying to push him and stuff and i'm sitting next to him and he's like grabbing my hands and i, just, I can't do anything to him because he's he's massive right what am i gonna do and at one point i like push him and he's like saying that i'm adorable but i push him and it doesn't push him it pushes me and my chair away from him so it's like I can't do it. Like he's just big, and I'm like, I'm like struggling with him and stuff like that. And he's just giggling, and and being Ben Rice and stuff, and that was nice. But like, I'm grabbing him, and he's like, "You have the softest hands in the world," and he's telling every like he was talking about my soft hands forever. Like I have like some calluses here, right? But then this is apparently just soft, right? Soft as shit. Um, and so he told his fitness friends about my soft hands. And I was like, what the, f like, why? You know what? Uh, like, that's fine. But yeah, so Ben Rice, that day we're leaving. And Ben Rice is like telling me just nice things and stuff like that. And, and it's all like really, really sweet, really nice. And it's like, that's, Ben Rice is someone who, I hope he lives a really long time because I don't want him to be gone. Um, and so he leaves and then we go into Ophelia's panel. And Ophelia is like, Ophelia is great. Like, she's great at her panel. She's great at her panel. It's a panel about working with companies, right? Working with working with developers and companies and stuff like that. And it's like really good. And there's Adam Coble up there, Ophelia. There's two other people I don't know. A uh, third person I don't know. But I'm listening to Ophelia talk and stuff. I was going to actually get up and ask a question. But it's like really good. And Ophelia is like really professional, really hardworking, right? Um, so then after that, she comes up to us. And it's like, she's like, now you need to go and talk to all these developers right now. Fucking go. Like, now. That's because people don't. People just kind of like, whatever. And stuff like that. So she pushed us to do this. Right? And I'll, I'll show you something. I'm going to show you something. Okay? So there's some people. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to listen to Ophelia. I'm going to go talk to these people. And I'll show you something. Thank you. 
So. Uh, I'm going to show you something. So I go talk to Ophelia and she's like, right over there. Go over there. I go over there. And uh, it's two fucking massively, massively fucking tall guys. Massively tall guys. And guess where they're fucking from? Guess where they're from? Can you guys guess where they're from? Guess where they're from? No, no, no. Which company are they from? Not the, not country. Come on, guys. My home. Yeah, they, they live with me. Ikea. Hey, Singa. Hmm. Square Enix, Bethesda. Rumsoft, Sony. Rumsoft. Okay, you're all wrong. You ready? CD Projekt Red. Man, CD Project Red, CD Project Red, yeah, CD fucking Project Red, and they're like, they and there's like this as well, c Cyberpunk, right? And so I just go up and talk to her because I'm I'm not I I'm really bad at talking to developers and stuff like that. So I start talking to her. And I'm like fumbling and stuff. I'm like, who are these guys? Like, who's CD Project Red? Like, it doesn't click in my head. And I'm like, oh fuck, they're doing Cyberpunk, right? And I was like talking to them about Cyberpunk. I'm really excited for Cyberpunk. I'm really excited for this. And I was like, you yeah, know, I'm thinking about like, you know, how I could apply. Like what I've done is I've done a, a lot of challenge runs. That's generally what I'm good at. And he's just, he's not really feeling it or whatever. And I'm like, I understand why. And I'm like, oh fuck, they did The Witcher. Like CD, that's the CD Project Red, right? And I'm trying to like catch my conversational fucking drift and be like, hey, I just wanted to say to you guys, like, you probably hear this a lot, but I wanted to say, and of course I'm fumbling because, you know, I don't have, like, my, my head's not there. I'm fumbling, and it's like, I just wanted to say, like, hey, you guys are great, and you did The Witcher, and that was a really good game, and I want to just thank you for actually making it a game. Like, a game, and it's clear that you loved it, and it's clear that you wanted it to be good, and you went above and beyond with that game. You went so far. Like, you went so far with that game, and all the little touches just showed how much you cared for that game. And they're like, yeah, that's great. And I was like, and at like Siri at the end. And he's like, oh, so you finished it. I was like, of course I fucking finished it. Like, what do you think I am? Right? And I was talking to him about like this and stuff and all that and fumbling. And I should have gotten a picture with them, but I didn't. Um, but he's like, you know what? Here, you know, l let me take a picture of your badge so I know it's you. So he took a picture of my badge for OzCon, right? Um, and he's like, you send me an email and we'll, we'll figure things out. So... CD Project Red, man. That's all because of Ophelia. If we didn't go to Ophelia's panel, if Ophelia didn't say like, hey, go do this, you know, I wouldn't have gotten in contact with them. So I got in contact with them. And then there was like a Square Enix like mobile person. And I was just like, I don't care about mobile. So then after that, we went to uh, Otz's meet and greet. I haven't talked about Otz really, have I? Because um, Otz got a meet and greet last minute. And so he's like, hey, Guys, I got it last minute, and I don't know if, uh... Why is Kay Witty messaging me right now? What do you want? He texted me. What? What do you want? What's up, baby? That's what he just messaged me. Uh... That's what he just messaged me. Um, so, after the panel... Uh, ben Rice was like, hey, I'm, I'm heading out. Like, I'm gone. He messaged me. And I was like, no. Like, I, I haven't gotten a picture with you, Ben Rice. No, 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 no. I haven't gotten a picture with you, Ben Rice. Ben Rice left. So that's the last time I saw Ben Rice. Um, but then I went to Otz's meet and greet. I right? went to Otz's meet and greet to talk to him and say, like, hey, Otz. And this is, like, when everybody's leaving and stuff. And so Otz had this cool thing where he's giving out, like, cards. Give him cards, right? Um, and he would write nice things on it. Hey, Ben Rice is here. He would write nice things about whoever was there. I just talked about you, Ben Rice. I don't know if you have the, the will to go through the past broadcast. Um, and he said, For, oh, look, he says right here. Faraz, you are, really are one of a kind. Please remember, I'll be here for you always. Otz, heart. Otz did a really nice thing, right? And let's see. Uh, 
Arts, 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 arts. Arts, arts. My drunkard. <laughs> I'll show you that picture in a bit. Uh, where's me and Ot? Come true. There's a picture with me and Ot. I know there is. Well, I've been here for hours, but There's I know you get shy when you talk about people, so I've just been. Uh, to sweet soft okay, Ben Rice. Thanks for the 12 months, man. One full year ago, that's when I met Ben Rice. One full year at the TwitchCon. I don't know where Ot's pictures are. I don't know. I can't. I I know we got pictures with Ot's, but. I don't know where they are, so he'll post them maybe. Let's start them. Uh, start. Ots, where the fuck are you? I don't fucking know. We'll just use a stock picture of Ots. We'll use Ots and Lobos. So Ots. Ots is 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 interesting okay Oz is interesting because the way he's orientated is completely different from how i'm orientated Oz is smart he's talented he's creative he's handsome right he has a lot of good qualities to him but one of the really nice things about Oz, and this is just this is preference but it's something he works really hard at like really fucking hard at um is he goes out of his way to be overwhelmingly positive to everybody to be like, hey, that's cruelty over there, or that's not good over there. I'm going to do something about it. Like, there's some guy who is like, not very smart, and he was handing out like Mario Maker cards. He's like, hey, you guys like Mario Maker? And there's this one group of people that just ignored him, fucking ignored him. And he came up to him, he's like, hey, you like Mario Maker? And uh, I think I like made a joke, like, do I get the shitty card because I'm brown or something like that? And that kind of like took him back. But I was like, no, 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 I'm just joking. Uh, but Ots like took him and talked to him and was like, taking a card from him and being like, You're, you'll do great, man, and very encouraging. Like, very encouraging, right? Oh. No, that's with uh, Lobos. That's not us. Um, he is just, he's, he's, he goes out of his way to be very positive, right? But the important distinction here is it's not in a, it, it's, it's technically, it's technically, if you look at it, it's not the whole picture because you don't actually get his thoughts, what he's really thinking, what is this? You only get half right he tries to be very like very polite accommodating all of these things like he's very like that and that's really really good but it's not self-serving right it's not self-serving a lot of people do that and it's very self-serving like people will be like oh hey man how you doing like can i do this for you can i do that for you because they want to earn favors and stuff like that that's not odds like odds is just like he really wants to spread joy and positivity so there's a lot of value in that because he does like he takes care of people. Did the music end? No. There's a lot of value in that, right? Um, he's like inviting me to Spain and stuff. And it's like, I believe him. You know, he's good. Like, Ots is good. Um, and he works hard. So he's like Ophelia in that he's like, I'm here to work. And he went and he talked to like a hundred people. Right? He just talks, does this stuff, does that stuff, right? He's very like good in that, in that, in that uh, sense. And so he's got like this beard and you see how that patch is there? I thought he shaved like a heart into his beard. And he's like, no, 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 that's just, that's just, I just don't have hair there. <laughs> so he doesn't shave a heart into his beard. There's just no, there's like this patch of hair that he doesn't have here. Um, but we went to Otz's meet and greet and he's great. And he said he wanted to talk later, but he was busy and stuff. And I didn't get to get to see him. Hey, Toxic Hell Beast, thanks for the five months, man. Uh, Otz is good. And I, I wish I could get down into the deep parts of Oz, but I, I still can't crack him. I still can't crack him. He's too smart, man. He's too smart. Just like a, a few other people. I just can't crack him, you know? Um, but we went to Oz's meet and greet. And after that, what did we have to do? I think it was me and Kay Witty and Lucia. Oh, that's when we hung out. Okay, so right after that, K. Witty and I had to go see Shio because Shio was fucking, you know, had her stomach uh, surgery, right? Her stomach surgery. And it was like, oh, well, fuck. You know, she didn't get to walk around with us. She didn't get to see all the people. She just came down here to see us. So we want to go see Shio and we don't have too much fucking time. We don't have, 
we don't have time because there's so many things we have to do, right? Like we had a dinner coming up that we had to go to. It was the soul's dinner, right? And so um, we Uber to Shio's house and then she jumps out and scares Kate Whitty, which is funny. And we get to talk to her for all of 20 minutes. Like, that's it. But I know she put on like a dress for us and stuff. And it was just like, it was really, really, really nice to talk to Shio and meet Shio and have her there for us. Cause I don't know how she was doing, if she was bored, if she wasn't, if she was like, I couldn't keep track of her cause she wasn't around because she had to rest for her surgery. Right. But she was fucking, she was great. Like I really liked meeting Shio. It was nice to see her. All right. She talked to us about this, that, what's going on. Where's the picture with Shio? Um, you know, and all these things and stuff like that. And me and Kay Whitty only got 20 minutes. And then we're like, okay, we got to get ready for the dinner. Right. You got it, Skylord. Have a good night, sir. Thank you. Hey, thank you for meeting me. Where the fuck is my picture with Shio? And then so we had a dinner to go to, right? And so we went to the dinner. I can't find her. Someone link me this shit. Shio, there it is. Shio, look at her, right? Wearing the nice stuff and stuff like that. And it's just like, oh man, we're staying with her. Okay, Witty, I think got a picture with her as well. And so we have this dinner, the Souls dinner. Right? Souls dinner, but I'll, I'll talk to you about the Souls dinner a bit, in a, in a bit. Um, um, before the Souls dinner, we're all meeting up to go back. Right, we want to go back and uh, I get to spend some time with Gada, a little bit of time with Gada. And uh, we shoved you. Oh, here's Coltrane, right? Look at him, handsome guy, huh? Very handsome. Uh, Gada. And this is where I'm hanging out with Gada, Tay Ray, Iron Megan. I don't know if I posted a picture with her. I think I did. I think she got the picture. I'm not sure. Uh, there, there she is, Iron Megan. Iron Megan and Gada and. Uh, <clears throat> Ushepti. And it's like, I really like Ushepti because I haven't gotten to talk to him. Uh, I got to talk to God a lot. I really like God too, but I really like Ushepti. And it's like, I'm not as close to Ushepti as I am with God. But like, look at this. Look at this. And like this. You know, it's like, I can, I can bond with certain people really well. Right? And it reflects in the pictures, I think. Right? It really reflects in the pictures. Um, but Ushepti's cool. He's, you know, come down here, came to see people and stuff like that. He's like, he's like tall. And I remember like he was like walking and he stopped to tie his shoes. And I looked at him and I was like, oh man, like, hey, Ushepti, you got nice calves. And he smiled. He's like, he, he looked at God. He's like, man, I like for us. And I was like, oh shit. Um, and that was nice. But we went axe throwing. I don't have any pictures of axe throwing, but axe throwing was interesting. Right? Like it, they literally gave us axes and we threw them at targets, which was okay. I won, of course. I got 30 points. K. Witty and Ushepti got like 20. And the girls had a little bit of trouble because, you know, it's tough. <laughs> um, but it was like you had all these different axes, like tomahawks, like two handed axes, like all these things that you would throw. Um, I think Iron Megan probably got something. There it is. So it's like here. So that's the axe right there. You're throwing it and trying to hit that target, right? To get that stuck in the target, right? Um, but we did that. Ushabti and uh, myself, K. Witty, Gata, uh, Tay, and uh, everybody. And that was that was nice. It was kind of like winding down and talking and stuff like that. Thanks, Viking. I'm sorry you didn't go to get to get to go, man. I would have liked to have you there as well, you and Crow. Um, okay, Singa, you too. You have a good sleep. Uh, you're missing the rest of the story, but that was that. We went that, and then we went to the Souls dinner. Okay, so we went back and we showered and got ready and changed our clothes. Looked all fancy, and Rababa's obviously wearing like really attractive things like oh my god where is this whole picture 
But she's wearing something where she has like a cut down it so you can kind of see stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, and Austin's just stylish. Petey came with us. And, and at the Souls dinner is, uh, what the, is, uh, where I met. Okay. So I met, uh, Wyvern, right? Carson was there. He organized it. Lady May. Um, this is Wyvern's girlfriend or wife, Chris. Colpster, this is Moral. This is Bloody Faster. Bloody Faster is cool. Uh, Lobos, it's myself, K. Witty, Ots, PD, and there's Rebarbs. All right, so we get there. Oh, I also met Pixel Monkey, which is interesting. Um, so we get there, and it's just like the dinner actually sucked. Like the food was good, but the way it was structured, like the way it was structured was like, uh, uh, did you not Bri meet Bri? I met her like very briefly, like very briefly. It's a. Uh, yeah, you should ask her about that. Um, she was busy. Um, at the table, it was structured in two rows. So there was like people up here, follow my mouse, right? Like, let's say there's a table. There's someone here, someone here, someone here. And we're sitting across from each other in this long ass table, right? And so just the way it ended up is me and Kay Witty and Petey are at the very end of the table and there's no one in front of us so there's there's just no one in front of us so it's like pd myself k witty no one in front of us and then on the other side carson may uh may carson uh next to k witty was morale uh rebs Ots, and then bloody faster lobos colpster and uh wyvern and chris right so we spent that whole dinner just eating and talking amongst ourselves because there's no one in front of us. So it's like, I didn't really get to talk to Lobos or talk to Bloody Faster or Wyvern or Moral or anybody who I wanted to talk to. Um, it was mostly just listening to them. So I we got to listen to Bloody Faster talk. And oh man, like I didn't really know her very well at all. Like I, I've been in her streams and I've been like, hey, Bloody and stuff like that. But she's actually really cool. Like she talks, the way she talks, the things she says, the things she does. She's a really cool person. You know, she's hardworking too. And Lobos is, of course, really cool too. He's really good with the sound effects. Um, but we ate dinner. It was Brazilian barbecue. So they just keep bringing it, keep bringing it, keep bringing it. And ate a lot. Not too much. Like, I didn't eat too much. But ate enough to be like, okay, like, that's a lot. Um, and uh, let's see, how's Code Vein doing? Code Vein, buddy. Um, we ate a lot. And after that, they brought us, like, this big, massive grilled pineapple covered in cinnamon and that's honestly one of the best things i've ever eaten it was so good it was one of the best things i've ever eaten it was amazing hi Susie. thank you ma'am thanks for the 33 months oh i'm home by the way so tell tell welcome back tell donnie that you like the game thank you for the the all the time Um, but then after dinner, we just hung out in this private area a little bit. We talked to each other. I got to talk to Lobos a little bit. I got pictures with Lobos. Got pictures with Bloody Faster. Um, I was so tired after this too. Let's see if I can find them. Yeah, I got a picture with Bloody Fat. Practice safe hex. I thought that was cool. Not a really big fan of this shirt, but she's, she's cool. I want to go see her. Talk to her. Subs her. Morale is really nice too. She was talking to Kay Witty and, and, and me about like banana pizza. Apparently banana pizza is a thing and it's really good. Um, oh, there's one with me, Oz and Lobos. Lobos, he took this picture himself. Like that's his arm extending. I don't know how he did that, but he did. And so we talked a bit and stuff and hung out. Carson and May. So May was really nice because May, you know, we were talking amongst each other. So May talked to us and she just told us about board games. Like she fucking loves board games. She's telling about the ship game, this game called Sushi Go. She's just telling us all this stuff about fucking board games. And that right there was nice because it gave us something to focus on rather than like, fuck, I wish there were people in front of us, you know? Um, I don't know if I got a picture. I hope I, I got a picture with Carson, but I did. Carson's, he's great, man. I've, I've talked to him and, you know, I've talked to him a lot. He's like a good friend of mine. He's great, but like Pixel Monkey. So I don't know Pixel Monkey too well, but he's like the manager from Nerd Fusion. He's like a good guy, but he's very like businessy as well. You know, very businessy. So he came and sat down. He's all slick. He's living the lifestyle. Um, 
he's like, I got another party to go to already. He manages a bunch of people and stuff like that. He was cool. So I sat down and talked with him. It's really hard to talk to him though. Unless you know him, I think it's really hard to talk to him because he's like, he's like business. Like he's there for business. But yeah, he was, he was good. He was great. After that, we all hung out. We took pictures and stuff. We talked about outside. Wyvern's really cool. He's a cool guy. I met him for this, the first time. He's talking. He's just happy and happy to see you and, and stuff. He's great. Um, everybody here was really cool. Petey was having, he was struggling trying to eat. Hi, pork coffee, you motherfucker. Um, but that was the dinner, and we hung out and then took pictures, and we all went. And Carson wrote a really nice tweet about it. Let's see if I can get Carson. Carson beef it, because we ate so much food. Um, let's see what he wrote. Carson, did you... What the fuck, Carson? Look, <laughs> Look at this. What the fuck? What are you doing? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I've never seen this. Carson, why did you show me this? I don't know who I was talking to. Someone. Uh, but yeah. Carson, did you not post your picture with me? Oh, it's a K. Witty, but not Carson. Let me tell you something about like uh, K. Witty. So K. Witty knows everybody, right? Everybody. So a lot of time, I'm just gonna keep it there. A lot of times we'll be in a group or something, and then someone will. Uh, oh, you say goodbye to them? Are they leaving now, Petey? Um, <clears throat> you should watch this back, Petey. Um, and someone will come and be like, oh my God, Kate Witty, like uh, my daughter watches you and my son watches you and my grandmother watches you and uh, we love you. You're so nice. It's nice to have a black, yeah, something, you know, um, uh, like you sign my shoe, like some shit. And it's just like, what the fuck? Right. So it's like, God damn it. It's like people really like K Witty. They love them. Right. But then it's like one time someone came up to me and is like, ah. Oh, for us, it's like I, I lurk in your streams. It's nice to see you. They took a picture with me. And I looked at K. Witty. I was like, yeah, like yes, like this is this is how it feels, K. Witty. This is how it feels. And he's just like shuffling, I'm like oh man. <laughs> but yeah, that was cool with K. Witty. Um, but yeah, Carson took a picture with K. Witty. Apparently, Carson didn't take a picture with me. I don't know how he didn't do that. But best day of my life. Yeah, I bet it was. Uh, yeah, Carson was cool. He oh, this is that's what I was looking for. He wrote something. Uh... Oh no, K. Witty posted these. Not Carson. Carson hasn't posted shit. Ah, uh, he's replying, replying. He wrote like, okay, one sec. I'm just gonna get the Discord message. All right, I'm not going to get the Discord message, but he wrote, he wrote something really sweet. So you, you guys should check it out when you see it. Um, that's why I was like, Kitty, like, hey, thank you for coming to see me because fucking everybody comes to see Kay Witty. Um, yeah, Carson was really sweet. Look at this. This is Bearded Belgian. Nice. I'm just jizzing right now. It's just a quick jizz standing next to Bearded Belgian. But that was the, the Souls dinner. Right, that was the Souls dinner. And uh, after that, we went back. And this was going to be our last night. Right? Slate wouldn't put his arm around you, dude. That's messed up. That's messed up, man. Yeah, you tell him. He's been in here. Um, that was the last night. And Rubaba wanted it to be really special. Because she's like, this is our last night all together. And it was a special night. Because it was like... Uh, mm, like, everybody dispersed. I think a bunch of people went to the Corsair and Elgato party. And it's like, we didn't get invited to that. So we didn't even know that was a thing. So we just kind of went back to our apartment, played Smash. I beat Slate like 10 times in a row. Slate did take a game off me. He did take a game off me. Uh, you know, beat Slate a bunch and uh, beat K. Witty a bunch. Because, you know, destroy him and Smash. They can't touch me. K. Witty's like, you can't beat me with anyone but Crump. And then I beat him with Joker. <laughs> so he, goes, he goes to that shit. Um, and... Uh, Coltrane was there and stuff and uh, and stuff and it was like a nice little night and I talked to her Bob's and we talked a little bit about stuff and she's funny because she goes out of her way to make sure you know that she's acknowledging things so she'll like you'll say something and she'll be like you say something else she'll be like she does that 
<laughs> and then so we all sat down and hung out for a bit, and it was like, that's our night, man. And uh, started falling asleep, and that was the last night we spent at TwitchCon. You know, Petey was there, and he's saying, like, hey, it was great to meet you, too. I think I was falling asleep on you, Petey. Spot and Dominator came in, and he was, like, talking, and he was, like, and I was, like, literally falling asleep. And I was, like, Spot and Dominator, man. And he's talking. He just wanted to hang out. He's great. And Trey's great, too. I really like Trey. Um, and we went to sleep. And we woke up the next day. Woke up the next day. Who's in the pick? This is Kitty, Kitty with a top hat. She's in chat right now. Uh, we woke up the next day and, uh, uh, I had a brunch to go to with Kay Witty and Slate. He's like, Hey man, I met some devs. You want to go to a brunch? They wanted to see me. So you know, that game that Squilla was talking to me about, uh, a while ago, Hunter's Legend Arena, this game. So we talked to the devs about that game. Like this was our last, last little Little, little, little brunch thing, right? Um, this shit, like the battle royale for honor style, uh, MMO thing where it's like a fighting game, but there's a lot to it. Um, we talked to the devs for that for this game. And they were really nice. So K Woody thought it was like a girl. Cause his name was Ariel. And I think that's how you say his name. I don't know. It was like a Korean guy and another guy. He was muscled, he was white, um, he was very handsome. And he talked to us and he's like, Hi, nice to meet you. Right? And he was a community manager for this game. And he's like, I would like to like, you know, I've been watching K Woody for a really long time. And I think he like I want to talk with him and establish a relationship with him. Uh, for this game because I that's what we do we're community managers we want to have mutual benefit with streamers and he's like okay Woody one said he wanted you to come along and I don't know you and that's fine but I'm just letting you know like this this is where we're at and it's like he was trying to be very accommodating and with Slate he's like it'll be good because he knew Slate was his roommate and stuff so he was like very well researched and like very attentive and they gave us hats they're like we got gifts for you guys right and they bought us brunch and they just talk with us and and they're like, we would like to know who you are. We would like to make friends with you and have feedback on our game. Because if you like our game, then we're going to be in business. And if you don't, then it's okay. Like we met and we have a good relationship. And they were really, really, really nice. I got a card from them too. And they have a studio based in uh, Korea. Uh, let's see if I got it here. Mantisco. These two guys. Uh, Ariel Wagner. Right? And uh, Tiger Wang, he actually added me on Facebook. Um, <laughs> I don't use Facebook. But like he was, uh, they were really good and they were telling me about Korean culture and stuff and, and all of this stuff. Like they were just being really nice to us. Really accommodating, really straightforward. And they're like, we want, we want, we want you to benefit from this as well. So that was like a brunch that took like an hour. And that was an hour and a half. And they were just really cool about it, man. They're really cool devs. So Based on that, like, even if I don't like this game, man, you should, like, you should definitely, definitely check it out. Like, 100% already. Because it, it was like, you know, it was, it was, uh, they were the nice, some of the nice devs, the most accommodating devs that I want to meet. No, it's not out yet. So they want to, they're going to do a, a closed alpha with us, I think, if we want to participate. Um... They want our feedback. They want honest feedback, too, which is really good. Vermilion Scarlet! Hey! I know who you are. I know I know who you are. Hey! How you doing? What's going on? I heard, I've heard a, uh, not a lot, but a little bit about you. A little bit, a little bit about you. You know? Uh, a little bit about you. Uh, and I want to say, hey, good job. Good for you. Good for you. Um, that's all I can say. Um, oh, also that night is when I learned, uh, I learned Kay Witty's favorite Pokemon. So Rebobs was asking, what's your favorite Pokemon? I looked at Kay Witty, I was like, Kay Witty's favorite Pokemon is Jinx. <laughs> and, he, he, and they started laughing and laughing and Kay Witty's like, man, come on. <laughs> that was, that was a lot of fun. 
Why is it jinx? Yeah. Yeah, send it, Petey. Let's see if I can get through Petey's shit. Um. Let's see. Oh, what? You guys got fucking. Fuck you guys. Yeah, there's me, Petey, Slate, Petey and Joe, Tay Ray, Blueberry Brioche, Hots, Colmer, Ali Coco's in the back, right? Ali Coco. Uh, is that Coltrane? There's Ushevti. There's Apollo. A Hattie. Look how happy he looks, man. Uh, Barry, Barry Crepe. I don't know her too well. And her Bob's with the dress. Um... Yeah, that was good. And so that was our last night together. Like That was our last night. Um, the brunch and then... Oh, I forgot to talk about Ophelia. So the night before that, when we were all hanging out... God, how did I forget that? Um, Ophelia took me aside. She's like, hey, you want to talk? And I was like, yeah. Let's talk. You know? Let's fucking talk. So we sat outside in the cold and we talked for like a stolid like a little hour and we had like a little mini mini heart to heart about things and what she's thinking about what she's frustrated with what's going on with that we we're just talking and I was getting cold but I wanted to keep talking to her and I talked to her talked to her talked to her talked to her um, and I want to talk to her more and stuff but she's sweet like she she cares like Ophelia fucking cares that's the wonderful thing about the people that she, she she's close with she does care just she's talking to me about stuff and, and stuff. Uh, Ryan Beatbox, thanks for the 24 months, man. Oh, is that me interrupting the Farad story? Yeah. She's talking and stuff, and I'm listening and I'm talking to her about stuff, and we're talking about different things. We're it's con confiding. That's confiding in her and stuff like that. So I can't talk about any of the stuff we talked about, but you know, I'm glad to have Ophelia too. You know, she's she's someone who. I could see her like fucking like taking over the fucking world because she knows how to work. Like, she knows how to work. Like where her, how she's orientated is like she has made it from really hard situations into something that's like, wow, like fuck, she's good. You know, and she'd spent time to talk with me. And eventually I was like, okay, I got to go in because I have to, I promised to talk to Rebaba about something because I had to tell Rebabs about something, right? I had to tell Rebaba about something that was going on. Um, so I told her about, about what was going on and that's when we had that night and Kay Woody's favorite Pokemon is Jinx and Slate's fucking laughing. He's a Lego man with no eyes and beating him in Smash again, beating Kay Woody in Smash, you know? That was, that was all really nice, you know? And that was the last day. And then uh, we went had the brunch the next morning and then... After the brunch, we came back and me and Slater getting, me and Kiwi and Slate getting ready, unpacking and stuff. It's like, I'm all packed. It's like, okay, let's play some Smash. So I beat Slate and K. Whitty some more. I think Slate took a game off me. I don't think K. Whitty did. Um, no, K. Whitty took one game off me. Um, and then Ophelia and Chris, or Rise, come back and hang with us and say goodbye to, to me, which is also really sweet. And then I get in the Uber and I leave. And I leave the con. And that's it. I leave. It's done. I leave. And I get on a flight and I fall asleep. And it's like rough and and terrible. And then on another flight, on my second flight from Seattle to uh to uh Calgary, right? I meet this guy. Cause so what happened is the flight for some reason for some reason it was late, like ten minutes, and that's fine. So we get on the flight and we go. And then it la it like takes longer to get there. So it's even later. And then there's a there's a plane in our gate. So once we're landed, we have to sit there for even longer. And what this results in is it's like it's five minutes until our next flight. We gotta get out of there. So I hear this guy, he's sitting behind me and he's talking about it, right? And I I turn to him and I talk to him. And I'm like, hey. Like, are, are, how, what are we going to do? Like, because I'm going to Calgary too. Um, and uh, he's like, I don't know, man. Like, we're going to 
we're gonna have to figure something out. And he seems really nice. Like he's talking and he's a he has a good voice and he seems very kind. Right? And I, I'm like, okay, so then I just sit back down. I turn around and I look at him again. And I'm like, hey man, are you a are you a streamer? And he's like, Yeah, man, yeah, I, I just came from TwitchCon. And he's like, Yeah, I'm a streamer. And he's like, Are you? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, like I'm a streamer. And he's like, wait. Like, I think I was creeping your trip, your, your Twitter. Like, I think I was creeping your Twitter, right? Uh, earlier. And he's like, do you know who Apollo is? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I know who Apollo is. Like, I was, I was hanging out with her down there. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm from, I'm from her community. Like, I, I talked to Apollo. I went down to see her and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, man, that's great. Like, hey, good for you. Nice to meet you and stuff. And this was on the flight back. And so he's like, I was like, listen. When I get off this plane, you're going to come with me and we're going to fucking run for our terminal because we need to go there. And that's what we do. We stand up immediately oh, as yeah, it's... Yes, my sub just renewed in the middle of this amazing code vein stream. Buddy. Glad to see you Buddy. So much the, coop far the coop mode. Thanks, Crab on Crab, for the 14 months. So we get up and we, like, book it. And I, like, push people all the way. I'm like, I got to get on my plane. He's leaving in five minutes. He's with me. And they're like, yeah. And then there's this old man who's a fuck that I wanted to just maul. But whatever. We got off the plane and we were like walking and we're talking as we're walking and then we're running to get to our plane. We get to our plane just in time, right? Just in time. And he's like, hey man, like it was nice meeting you and I'll, 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 uh, I hope you have a good flight. So he sits in his seat, I sit in mine and it's like an hour flight back to Calgary. And then after the flight, like I just hung out and thought about stuff. After the flight, like I get off the plane and I like walk and he waited for me. He like waited for me and he's like, hey man, what's up? And I'm like, hey, you waited for me. And he's like, yeah. So it's like, all right. So we start talking and we talk about some stuff. We talk about him. He's like a, uh, he's like, he's a radio guy. So he does radio in Medicine Hat, which is close to me. And he talks about the gym and stuff like that. We just talk a bunch. He's a really nice guy, right? And I was just like, oh, I'm tired and stuff and so on and so forth. But this guy's a nice guy. So he had lost his baggage and he needed to go to baggage plan. So he waited with me to get my luggage. And so I waited with him for like about 20, 30 minutes to get his luggage. And he's like, listen, man, I don't think I'm going to get this tonight. And I was like, hey, like, I just wanted to wait with you because you waited for me and stuff like that. And he's just really cool. He's like, you know, thanks for talking to me and stuff like that. I'm going to probably get Uber back to my friend's house and stuff. And I was like, great, man. Nice to meet you. You want to take a picture? And he's like, yeah, let's take a picture. So he took a picture with me. And uh, that was nice. So it was like really, it was like cool to meet him. Right? Because it's like, oh, well, here's a guy that I have no idea about. But it's like somehow we recognize each other. <laughs> No, Cal Corona. Come on, man. Um, and that was just great. Yeah, that was a good way. And then I went back, Ubered home, and then I ordered Skip the Dishes, and they didn't get me my fucking food. Hi, Schwiels. They didn't get me my fucking food. It took me two hours, three hours. They made me wait for my food. I like The driver made it to the restaurant on the map, and then the driver just stopped. Just He just stopped for an hour. Didn't do anything. And they're like, we have no idea what's going on. And I was like, what the fuck? So that was shit. Um, and then I went to sleep and I woke up today. And uh, uh, and I started streaming. I talked to Art on the phone because we're doing shit. I started streaming. Um, yeah, maybe boy Jesus. And that's where we are now. Hey, Leon Dead, did you hear all that? I was going to tell you in person. I can tell you some more stuff you want. Discord or something. But that was, that was TwitchCon, man. That was it. That's as much as I, there's probably more, but that's as much as I can remember right now. You know, just like really nice things. Like this is a nice thing, you know. What a weekend. Yeah. Mr. Dad asked me many questions. Yeah, well, what did he ask you? Okay, Woody's favorite Pokemon, perhaps? Perhaps. Caught a bit of it. Okay. Oh, we got shit to do. Oh my god. Leon, Dan, we only got an hour. And then we got a raid, right? What a weekend. Man, Cal Crow, you listen to the whole thing? You listen to this part, man? There's some nice stuff. You gotta you gotta listen to that these parts. Alright? And this whole story. Give past broadcast. Past broadcast. Uh yeah, our Samoy Thai train. Is that Post Malone? Someone met Post Malone's, like, uh, security risk analysis guy. I didn't expect that to take that long. I thought I was going to talk for, like, an hour and be done. 
but we talked for four hours. We talked for fucking four hours there. Four fucking hours. Well, let's talk a bit more. Do you guys have any questions? Anything you want to know about in terms of what happened, what went on? Ali Coco was sweet. I met her husband. They were great. I only met them briefly and we only talked a little bit, but I got some some really nice pictures that I like. You know. Uh, Kay Whitty's shorts. Not shirt. Shorts did not smell at all. He was fine. This is my last little bit with Ophelia. Is that a photo with Gata? Yeah, this is Gata right here. Uh, oh, this is a photo with Curious Peanut. Like, look, look how fucking jacked he is, man. He is big, and he's got he's got the accent. The, get it, boy? Yeah, you get it. <laughs> you know, and this guy's like, excuse me, brown and white, huh? So this this guy was funny. Um, yeah, that was good. That was good. This is one of my favorite pictures. Look at Cal Slate. K. Woody. Okay, so here, I was so fucking tired of smiling and taking pictures that it was hard. Like, it gets, it gets hard. So I was just like, fake smile, here we go. And he's just like, eh. <laughs> he's a zoom. K. Woody did zoom in. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but K. Woody, like, zoomed in on that shit somewhere sometime you know like like this these are the good things you don't get this you don't get this everywhere you don't get this Skylord God Skylord was wonderful like look at him you can just tell he has some nice wonderful kind eyes this is the shirt where Bob's you know picked out for me I didn't really like this shirt but she's like you're wearing this Apollo she's great She's cool. She's interesting, man. Apollo's interesting. She's very interesting. Um, deck. I don't know why I have this, but... Oh, I retweeted it. He's a handsome guy. Deck's funny. He's moody. He's moody and funny. And then distortion, of course. Just kind of chilling. I like these things. Like, this, is, this is good. Look at this. You know? This is... This is nice. All right, Ben Rice, I miss you too. Hey, I was like, I thought she hates me. She's like, no, Evie, Coltrane, Larksa, she's great, she's cute. Um, Lady Boss, this keeps popping up. Look how happy Cal is. Look at him, man. Look at that charming smile. And that that guy's made for show business. Like Chris. He so that was that was uh that was TwitchCon. Yeah, my I I like cross. I'm cro my legs are crossed right now actually. So if you guys got any question, we can we can do questions for a little bit, and then I can play Code Vein. If you guys still want to see that, or we could save Code Vein for tomorrow. You know. Um. Yeah. We had some good ones, man. I like this one too. <laughs> I like me and Slate, man. Talking so much shit to each other. Talking so much shit. And then the Hattie's run. Where did it go? Talking so much shit to each other. It's me in the back there with Slate. You see it? Me in the fucking back there with Slate. Uh, Terry's being cool too. All right. That's true. Yeah, we had our Code Vein sweaters on. So that's that, man. That's TwitchCon. Yeah. If you guys got any questions, ask them now and then we'll get into Code Vein because that's a. Uh, that, was, that was good stuff. Like, there were bad parts of the con. And I'm, I'm showing you all the good parts. These were all the good parts, right? These were great parts, wonderful parts. There's bad stuff for sure, but this, this is some good stuff. Uh, Ninja Ninja game, probably Hotline Sekiro or some shit. What will it take for you to TwitchCon EU in May? I can't stand plans. Uh, Crow, oh, the... 
Hunter's Legends Arena, I think. No, I can't stand. I don't know what I said. Hey, Peanut! Were you here the whole time? I, okay, so with Peanut, I didn't get to actually talk to him super much. But I like Peanut. I didn't know who Peanut was before. Or I really didn't. You know, because he's around. But God, he's... He's sweet. I think Peanut bought us dinner. Like, Peanut bought us brunch. Not dinner. Brunch. He bought it for us. So I was like, Peanut, you want me to pay you, man? He's like, no. Like, I bought this for you. Like, this is this is my gift to you. Yeah, Peanut, Peanut, a whole bunch of people. Myself, UBC, Cal Cro or not Cal Cron, K Witty, Slate, I had it. He just bought us all brunch out of nothing. And it's like, man, we just met Peanut. And he's like, yeah, man, I want you to have this. And I was like, oh, man. So it's like, I don't even know, man. No, hold on. I'm going to do this quick. I don't know anything about or I didn't know anything about Peanut, but after that, it's like... I didn't even have Peanut fucking followed, man. Peanut's great, man. Peanut's fucking great. Thank you again, Peanut, for that. Thanks for the resub as, as well. Nice. Nice to meet you. He's a good guy. Very good guy. She's back. Hey, I'll try to slow down next time. No problem. <laughs> it was tough. Make your waifu? Let's do it. Let's do some Cold Wayne. 